Oh, perfect. Uh, to to throw it back to uh, the race that nuclear would have been a part of, um, that was the one with headstrong uh, with a three ten twelve and a an iron with a three fourteen twenty three. Um, so nuclear will be essentially be placing within that uh, that group of races instead. Uh, but we do have a four person extravagance for you today, so hopefully you all will enjoy. Um, to introduce the other runners, um, we have Wave Warrior, um, who uh, some of you may know as the Fire Red Leaf Green uh, tournament winner uh, that was pretty recently done. Um, Wave, I believe, is our third seed. Um, I'm not sure if Wave has been running publicly or not, but I last I heard, uh, he had a 306 over at SGDQ when they had a a uh, pretty informal in-person race. Um, so looking forward to what he has to show today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Zimlix also, uh, PB is the 324.18, not fastest tournament time. Has not done tournament run race yet, so that's just in the, in the wrong, uh, the wrong spot. But that is their PB, so. Yeah, looks like... and then Kid Rocker also uh, with a, I believe, 310 as our second seed but it looks like we're loading up into the race um looks like our race time countdown is at around minus 20 seconds so we'll be getting into the game very shortly so um i okay so we have just run pikachu kid rock is running ev uh is that what you're running EV? Running at the moment, the PNGs are just failed PNG yeah. images. Except Kid Rocker, <laughs> we can see the you can see the one EV. <laughs> exactly. We'll we'll figure out if it's a if it's a fifty fifty Pika EV or if it's a slightly biased towards EV one way or the other in just a couple of seconds here. What do you do? All of the racers. Uh, I mostly pay. Well, I only play Pikachu. Um, oh, I, that's smart. I decided to. Pick one or the other. Uh, it does look like Nuclear is going to be running Eevee today. Um, so we are one versus three in terms of good versus interesting versions to play. <laughs> at least, at least I, I like having both. Um, at least like one of each on these races because it's nice to see like the different strats between the games. Okay, we got two. Ooh, we, we got, got girl one, girl two, and then and two boy two ones. Boy ones. Interesting three. choices here. Unfortunately, no girl threes. Uh, no, you gotta save that for the for like the later rounds. True, you can't true. just use her up now. You gotta save it for the times, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, standing stuff right now. Just ones or one of my ones sometimes. True. I actually don't know what the difference is between uh, male and female EVs, so I can't really tell how many of those we have on screen between Kid Rocker. The design is different. Oh, gotcha. I think, I think Waves the female one is might be a... a heart because Game Freak likes those. Apparently they do. I think Waves is a, uh, a male Pika, so. Not that that has anything to do with their actual statistics. Um, I don't believe there's any fear of attract in these games or whatnot, but coming up soon, we'll be able to see what uh, what natures these star Pokemon might have. Yeah, I see everyone got past the hard thing. So many drops all the inputs for me all the time. Seriously. Really wish that there was some sort of like D-pad or whatnot to, to get through that, but... Looks like all of our runners are making it through our options menu unscathed, just setting up the normal text options, fast text, battle animations off, style, battle style to set so we don't have to switch Pokemon around, and then uh, movies turned uh, to skippable. I uh, really all wish five of them in the just, game. Uh, it would just auto skip for us and we'd have to spam the plus button. So, that would be eh, nice. It's a small price to pay for. A small number of cutscenes to skip, I suppose. <laughs> so I, 
I feel like I was told recently that you can actually kind of tell the nature based on the uh, CP on these starters. I yeah, so no this is only this is only relevant for Pikachu. Um, for Eevee, you will always see a uh, CP of 27 on this first initial catch screen. Uh, for Pikachu, it can be either 26 or 27. 27 is going to denote an average, or rather, neutral nature Pikachu. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, uh, Pokemon have natures in this game. There is a spread of 25, and they will increase a certain stat by 10%, and they will decrease a certain stat by 10%. Uh, if they happen to be the same stat, it balances out um, as a net zero, so that becomes neutral nature. Uh, looks like Wave Warrior has a CP of 26, which means it is guaranteed to not be neutral. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, what nature he ends up rolling with. Whereas the rest of the EVs uh, will need to figure it out whether the runners decide to check them or whether or not we see those stats on a level up screen. Yeah, so see what happens. Yeah, it's just getting the Pokemon. I, I remember when they used to uh, change Pokemon's name. I think most people now just leave it as Pikachu or Eevee. They don't change yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, I know in like older generations, just because of the way that uh, a text for frame works, it's much better to name it like one or a single character. But in in more recent generation games, it looks fine. Uh, Jolly Nature for Wave. Um, let's pull up my natures, but I believe that is. Plus, plus speed, minus, minus special, special attack. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so and it looks like Zimlick is... I didn't catch uh, what the nature was either, but our runners are able to use uh, a backup file. It'll be loaded at the exact same point uh, where you are able to take control of the character uh, after you grab your starter. Um, these backups will be a neutral nature. Um, just to make things a little a bit more of an even playing field, uh, but it is a roughly 40 second time loss uh, to take that back up in exchange for making sure that your your early to mid game is a little bit better. Timid. Nucle nuclear has Timid taking it. Gotcha. So we got two Timids, right? Or was one, the other one Jolly? Uh, so I don't know Did if Kid Rocker Wave checked jolly? his. Waves was Jolly. Um, which is my special attack plus speed. I believe uh, New Amber saying in chat that's in. Uh, I believe so. It's opposite, yeah, in terms of minus attack plus speed. And then, as Amber mentioned, uh, Zimlix was adamant, which is plus attack minus special attack. If that was Pikachu, I'll take an Adam Pikachu. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember who it was that uh, routed out adamant, possibly Keith, for Pikachu. Um, but yeah, there are there are enough pros of having plus attack, at least for Pika, where minus special attack becomes it's still kind of an issue, but you can you can roll with it, and it's not that much of a time loss if at all. Yeah, I well you know I, like like you introduced me as I mostly run OP, and the only time special attack matters is like Jesse James, easing range, but adamant can be saved more turns. So Right. At least for Pika, if you if you do decide to run with uh, minus special attack, in which uh, Wave Warrior is doing right now, uh, XP management is going to be key. You definitely want to try and be level 30 by Tower Justin James. Otherwise, uh, things can get a little bit dicey. But so early. New uh, I guess you don't do that on this. I guess you could. Um, that's more prominent in Hideout Justin James, where you could yeah. usually see Rhyhorn plus either Neo King versus Nido Queen uh, in order to use Draw Run on the Arbok and Weezing to take them out with X attacks and Helping Hands. If worst comes to worst, you can probably also use that on Tower Justin James. Uh, I wonder if he'll do Headbutt Mountain. Headbutt Mountain. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Plus, yeah. plus attack. Might be able to. I don't know counts for it. Yeah, it's. I would assume that it's pretty favored, even if you're at neutral attack, to go to uh, to use two X attacks on Pikachu to headbutt down the Ekans, followed by headbutting down the coughing in that respective order. 
So we will see how Wave decides to play this out. Uh, everybody else uh, getting through the first rival battle. Uh, oh, no. Very unfortunate Zimlik paralysis um, from from Zimlik's side. Status is absolutely a thing in these games. Uh, not only does uh, for paralysis your speed gets cut, I believe, by... Uh, I'm not sure if it's a third or a half in this generation. Uh, but in addition to having your speed cut, plus the chance of not being able to act on your turn, uh, status lag is a thing. Um, and can cause a couple seconds of time loss here and there. Yeah, or you could just get fully paralyzed seven times. <laughs> that sounds it's like so much fun. Not. <laughs> Yeah, and another good thing is we love uh, Pikachu levels up on that Rotata, so we can see if you don't check nature early like Wave did, we can check it there. Um, that's also how we verify the, the the backups are of the correct natural or nature. Um, we just see the stats and level up, and then we'll know it's neutral or whatever nature it is. So that's how we verify. Eevees will level up on this Caterpie that Kid Rocker is coming up to. Um, I don't know Eevee's stats, so I will not be able to tell you Eevee's nature. <laughs> like, likewise. <laughs> I ran Eevee. I say I have experience with Eevee, which I technically do, but there's like two runs. And I don't. That was way before. That was a long time ago. Right. Uh, the other way that you can check uh, nature's for sure, um, both Pikachu and Eevee will learn Double Kick at level 9 and level 10 respectively, and when that stat screen does pop up to uh, teach Double Kick, we'll be able to see uh, whether something is neutral, whether something is positive or negative based off of that. Uh, it looks like Kid Rocker just gained an AV in Special Defense at least. Um, Joker, do you want to explain how AVs work in these games? Yeah, so each time a Pokemon levels up, um, they get a random plus one increase to one of the six stats. Um, if you're minus nature, it won't go into that stat. So if you're like minus speed, you won't get speed AVs. But um, you see, it's like a, a gold, a gold number or whatever, and you just see it. So you can keep track of it. They go in cycles of ten. So the AV you get at six will be the same AV you get at sixteen. Um, so it can help. EV runners more than Pikachu runners to like see where they are just to see if they can get different um, ranges and um, rocket hideout and stuff. It's not really as important as Pikachu. Although it's nice for if you know from the speed. Right. If you, if you have a you couple of attack ADs from the from a second speed. cycle by then, so you won't know like a pattern. Right. And I believe that if you are a plus minus nature, uh, typically, uh, the role that you would have for an AV in a minus uh, section, so say you're safe or jolly. Uh, if you, if Waves Pika was to roll a minus or a special attack AV, it would instead get redirected to that uh, the speed stat. Um, there's also a thing called characteristics in this game. Uh, all of the starter Pokemon have a, an IV of 31, which is the maximum for any given stat. Uh, any characteristic usually is based off of the IV. Um, and depending on what it is, so for example, a, uh, an alert to sounds characteristic would mean that uh, you have two additional rolls in a, a speed stat. So that also contributes to the, the stat weight distribution did, of each starter. Did I just see Wave bury a bug? <laughs> Does Wave normally not bury a bug? I don't know. I, I have no idea, but so, so berries increase um increase the ch chances to catch it um with one controller and no berry it's around like 71 percent to catch it so you can make it like 80 something like low 80 percent with the berry i varying bugs is a choice it, it is a choice i i do tend <laughs> to bury choice. bugs on my first catch um if you're one interesting thing is that if you're able to grab a Caterpie or a Weedle uh, 
pre-entering Viridian Forest. Uh, you can then to control the first catch in Forest, and you don't have to use the berry at all. Uh, looks like we do have a Frick um, over on Wave Warrior's side, if we're in the chat. Yeah, it is Lord, um, which means it will come at a higher level. Um, Lures will increase the spawn rate of Pokemon in a given area, as well as set their level to their maximum in the area, plus one. Uh, so not a total loss to catch out, catch this Pidgey. Um, could it does lock you out of well, depending on what people decide to do. Uh, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgey are an interesting line in the sense that it evolves twice. Um, so we'll see how the catch cycle or the catch routing works out in that regard. Speaking of catches, I believe. Um, if I recall correctly, Nuclear ended up catching a Pidgey and Rat pre-forest. So, getting the catches out of the way a little bit early. A um, little bit lower on XP there, but at the same time, pushes ED a little bit further ahead in the in the early XP. I believe Eevee wants to hit a certain threshold before leaving the forest. Is that right? Does that sound right? I just know they want to learn Double Kick at 10. They just want to get 10. Right. So, I don't know what exactly. It depends what, what, what the, if they can catch like. Well, I already caught the rat, they just can't catch it. I'm fine. Right, so, we'll see what, see what they decide to do here. Um, for Pikachu, uh, so we should mention that. These level thresholds are important because the first uh, major fight of the game is coming up in the form of Brock, the first gym leader. Uh, in terms of battling, uh, Pikachu has it a little bit easy in the sense that uh, we'll be picking Pikachu will be picking up an Oddish, uh, great special attacker. Um, well, more so in the sense that Onyx has poor special defense and higher defense. Um, so where Eevee needs to rely on a combination of double kicks and tail whips. Uh, looks like Kid Rocker's EV is possibly neutral from that stat screen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's tight. Yeah. yeah. So versus Eevee's physical attacks, uh, Oddish has Absorb, which is a special attack, and against Onyx's uh, poor special defense, can easily knock out Onyx in one to two hits alone, depending on Oddish's 10, level. You can you can guarantee the one shot. Or not, not Generally good. speaking, yes. I did have a run where I pushed Oddish to 11, and it still did not one-shot the Onyx because it had like what? zero IV special attack and was like minus special attack. Uh, so very highly favored, not necessarily guaranteed, but 99 times out of 100, uh, Oddish will will take the W there. Yeah, if you're wondering why we're catching all these Pokemon, although you've probably been watching, uh, we need 50 Pokemon for. Koga's gym, um, so there's routes planned out. Um, at the moment, you don't really see the numbers on the layout. It's just how it is for now, unfortunately. But um, so even if people may look ahead in the race progress rise, they may have less catches, so it'll be like closer than you think it is. Um, but yeah. Right. With the four-person layout, unfortunately, we're unable to get the the cash trackers on screen for you all. But we will do our best to keep you updated on current catch counts. Um, looks like currently, uh, what is marked, uh, Wave has 8 caught, Kid Rocker has 6 caught, uh, Zimlik with, I believe, 8, and Nuclear with 6. Yeah, um, it's been on the very, like, it is a race, so it's whatever, but like, you're early on in Forest, it's like 70% is pretty pretty decent odds, right? 70% to get in, so... I mean, you say that, and then pump is 80% accurate. <laughs> so? Just don't look at my race where I missed, like, half my... Like, you can X-accuracy pumps, you can't X-accuracy catches, really, without berries. 70% is fine. It's, it's, you're not trying to catch Butterfree. <laughs> yeah, but I get what you're saying. Like, there is a... There's a risk versus reward in the terms of uh, lowering your catch percentage by not using a berry versus just not having too many for it. So 
there is that component to the run as well that these runners will have to decide. Uh, looks like Kid Rocker is the first to enter into the Brock fight with a level 10 ED. We're going to see double kicks on the Geodude, probably followed up by a Tail Whip on the Onyx to lower its defense with uh, two more double kicks to finish it off. I believe Eevee can two-shot the Onyx straight up if you are level 13 with decent enough attack. Yeah, I think so. I think 13 is like a nice Yeah, super size. Yeah, super size is really good, especially um, in a race setting where you want to make sure that your XP is high as possible. There will be other XP thresholds later on that we need to reach uh, looking at you, Misty. Yeah, it's also why um, burying stuff for higher uh, higher catch rates, like especially as as you're starting out with this game, is is nice because it can help you get the XP you need from SD. Exactly. Okay, here's the Oddish time. Yep, we've already putting Oddish on front. Make sure that we select that that grass or water type requirement for Brock's gym. Interestingly <laughs> enough, uh, every gym in this game has a requirement. Brox is that you must have a grass or water type. Uh, interestingly what water enough, type? yeah, what water type is available to you? Unless you, I suppose, you trade for it. But unfortunately, trading is uh, not a thing in this category. It's not really. Damn, can't. Listen, not so all of us <laughs> can run diploma all the time. All right. I don't know what you mean. I haven't done that in like ten months. I have done one AOP run and one diploma run, and let me tell you, it is, uh, it's is—it's a lot of fun. The best uh, time, Also yeah. a lot to keep track of, for sure. <laughs> yeah, since I have learned it, like, whenever I'm doing it, I just kind of keep track of all the trades and shit. So, but anyway, getting back to this race. Um, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, anyway, going off, <laughs> speaking of the race, not us, but um, the, so this race, um, the way it works, uh, for the next round is the top uh, six runners will be in the in pot one for the upper bracket. So right now to get into the upper the pot one for upper bracket, uh, the runners have to be tri Trivs three oh seven ten. Do um, you think anyone's do you think anyone's gonna do it today? Uh, I think Wave definitely has potential to do it. Um, again, I am not entirely sure how much he has been practicing or not. Um, but considering that Wave's uh, PB is a 301, uh, I'm expecting pretty decent time today. Oh, nice. And I know Kid Rocker's been in grinding out this game as well. I saw him practicing uh, for cycle throws on stream a while back, so. Kid Rocker Hopefully, got the nice that practice Ekans is good for him. Good old Ekans version doesn't know exclusive. Top uh, Ekans is one of the version exclusive Pokemon that you can find on Route 3 and 4, whereas on Pika version, uh, Pika actually gets a select choice of Sandshrew and Mankey. So we might be seeing that as Wave head towards Mount Moon. Have you ever um, got... So you know how Sandshrew has like two attack cycles where it can scratch, which is the better one, and then, and the, then roll. the rollout thing, which is terrible. Yeah, you can get excellent at the end of the roll if you time it correctly. I did not know that. I guess, I've done yeah, it I guess twice. that makes sense. There's always like a really, really small circle if you time your throws yeah. pretty perfectly. Uh, yeah, but the scratch I one is like, gives you a buffer. It's way better. Gotcha. I always get the roll though. Feels like unlucky. Maybe we'll see it. Yeah. I was about to say we don't see any zooming mankeys, but then I realized Kid Rocker's running Eevee, and we won't see any zooming mankeys just <laughs> bolting not, to like Not the today, unfortunately, for, for three out of four <laughs> racers today. We're buying uh, this outrageously the... priced magic card. Yes, uh, fastest, essentially the fastest catch, quote unquote, catch in the game. Um, there are multiple ways you can obtain those uh, 50 Pokemon. You can either catch them, you can evolve them 
or Magikarp is one of those gift slash bot Pokemon, in addition to Lapras and Porygon, which will be coming much later in the game. Uh, but very good to save 500 Poké Dollars to, to get a very fast catch in Magikarp. Yeah, actually catching Magikarp is more expensive. Because you're using a lore, which is like 300, and then you're probably using like a greater Ultra Ball, which is like whatever it is. So it's already more than 500 Poké Dollars. So. Yeah. Eh, Pretty... Poké Economics sir, is not my major, unfortunately, so I can't speak much to that. <laughs> I just know because they always break out of Ultra Balls, and it's like, well, screw you too. Teaching the headbutt move is really nice. It's what, 70 power and stab for Eevee because it's the same type? Yeah, exactly. Both Pikachu and Eevee can learn headbutt. Um, Eevee does get the stab or same type attack bonus, so instead of 70 power, it's effectively 105 uh, due to it being multiplied by one and a half times. So that will carry Eevee through a lot of the early game until we get uh, our super special secret awesome moves in Cerulean. But when is uh, VV Volley and Pika Papau going to make their debut? Let's Listen, uh, oh. there we... <laughs> what, what's up? <laughs> We've had the clutch cutscene despawn, was about to hit that Zubat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of the cutscene. Whenever you enter a cutscene, uh, like the one, uh, also hello to Jesse and James and Meowth, uh, throwback to Pokemon Yellow and the anime, um, Pokemon will despawn. Can be both a blessing in the sense that if you're about to run into a Pokemon and the cutscene triggers, it despawns it. Also can be kind of a curse if, say, you need a Ghastly in Pokemon Tower, perhaps, uh, and then you hit the Cubo and Marowak cutscene and it despawns, and then you're just very sad. Yeah. Yeah, it's really sad. Oh, was going for the glowing Geodude, and then a non-glowing one spawned on top of him? Oh, oh okay. I right. would not run, but I wanted, wanted the glowing XP to be safe, so just wanted to make sure to hit Misty, which is fine. Yeah, can't, Got the punch. can't fault runners for uh, being safe on XP. Good Geodude cycle, though. Um, yeah, that's Geodude. one of the, this Geodude is one of the first cycles I think like new people learn because it's one of the easier ones to identify. Right. So, Generally the good cycle is uh, the circle is like a little less than halfway closed and then Geodude does a little punch and you can essentially throw as soon as Geodude goes back to its uh, starting position. Wave did not get the good Geodude cycle. Yep. I feel like lately I have not been getting the punch. It always wins. Yes, Geodude is a is a fickle thing. And then when you don't get that first punch, like the circle's like just off for some reason, and like I should hit the excellent, but it's just like no, you hit nothing. It's just sad. We got Clefairies, nice. You love to see it. Clefairy being pretty much the largest XP source um, in Mount Moon outside of uh, certain other big puffballs. Yeah, it's also easier to catch by a lot. Right. Z uh, Zim is going double Pokeballs, it looks like. Interesting. Still made it, though, so it's fine. As long as it gets in. Generally, um, at this point... Ooh, Chansey on wave screen. I think he is going to be prepping He's, his yep, party for it. Going for it. Yeah, the uh, the other pick, the other pink Puffballs that I allude to are one Chansey and two Clefable. Uh, they are a very large source of XP, and if you can manage your party to sort of take advantage of that, it will be very good for um, XP in in the early game. Obligatory. Bring out the double greats because the double greats increases the catch rate um, compared to great Pokeballs. Um, this Mount Moon Chansey is 60. Or that was 74.49% chance to catch, assuming it was six IV. So. Pretty good, decent, good catch count or catch. Clayball's um, actually harder to catch; it's like sixty-eight percent. Yeah, with the, like great, great res, excellent. Wave Pikachu already level sixteen with only a Geo Dude and a Chansey catch, so he's very set for for leaving Mount Moon, even if uh, this is a Clefairy or Paris. Um, but I everybody not see... getting to Mount Moon 
All right. Did you see uh, the wave by the wave doing the regular thunder shock? Jesse James or is wave doing? I didn't see what. Uh, I did not see his by. shop. Um, so for Pikachu, you can do one of two shops. You can, uh, considering your attack and special attack, you can either buy an X special attack and an X attack, or you can buy three X attacks. Um, these will get you through Misty just fine. But as uh, as Joker mentioned, you can do the end of Mount Moon Justin James fight uh, one of two ways. Uh, you can either go the attacking version, which is using two X attacks and headbutting, or you can do one X special attack with, uh, with Thunder Shock and Acid from the Oddish. Fighting Youngster Josh at the same time. You love to see the, the synced up things. Uh, uh, Pika will usually... Wave doing it first. Right. Pika will usually fight this trainer with a sand shrew before heading down the ladder. Pika does need to go down the ladder to pick up a moonstone for a later evolution, whereas Eevee generally uh, does it after the fact, and lots of glowing things on Kid Rocker's screen over here. You love to see it. You mean you, mean you don't just... Evolve a Clefairy with the Moonstone and Pikachu? You don't do that? <laughs> I thought you did that. Listen. <laughs> it is an option if you have an extra Moonstone and you don't have Jigglypuff. Uh, <laughs> but no, Pika needs a little bit more help than, than Eevee to get around a couple of fights. Damn, only. And like also fishing up the Sandshrew fight as well. Nuclear will be coming up on that shortly. Um, as soon as he finishes up, uh, they finish up their catches. Okay, Chansey does not. Oh, Bulbasaur is evolving. Okay, nice. Holy crap, 16 catches for Wave and Moon. What the heck is this? Yeah, uh, to, we'll also mention this as each runner comes out of Moon, but uh, as it stands currently, uh, Wave is at 16 catches, Kid Rocker at 14, Simlik uh, has just caught 15, and Nuclear uh, is either on 12 or 13, depending on this catch. These are all kind of high Mount Moon counts. <laughs> yeah, generally speaking, uh, average Mount you usually leave Mount Moon somewhere between, like, depending on how good your optional catches are, between 12 to 15. 17 is pretty dang high this early in Mount Moon. Yeah. yeah. Wave didn't even catch Sandshrew or Mankey, right? Yeah. Right, so he still has that option to, to grab those on route Be 19 four. before Misty. Could be 19 before Misty. Could be 20 to 21 coming out of Cerulean, who knows? Still need Paris, right? Uh, let me take a look at Wave's tracker. I'm so used I to seeing Paris. a more condensed version. Oh, wait, no, caught. Paris tracker. is caught. Okay, Paris gotcha, caught. gotcha. I just I think it looks marked to me. Seems like pretty decent moods for everybody so far, as far as catching goes. Yeah, not. Not much to complain about, thankfully. Uh, as we said before, uh, still uh, you, like... you do need to be level 15 to enter Misty's Gym. That is her gym requirements. Uh, assuming that you are not 15 by that time, you have a couple of options. One, you can catch a couple of things on Route 4 to make up that XP, uh, seeing as catches are... XP is very weighted heavily towards catches this game, as opposed to fighting trainers. Uh, so the more you catch, the higher your XP is, generally speaking. Uh, another option is to do the Nugget Bridge section of Cerulean first, which is uh, somewhat significantly slower, uh, but at least it will secure you getting 15 before Misty. And then I believe a third option is there is a rare candy that is available uh, behind one of the houses in Cerulean. You have to like kind of go in the house, go outside the back of the house, and go grab the rare candy. Uh, so you do have options, even if you are in a, in a bit of an XP bind. I don't think you should ever do option three. Maybe it when you're just option. starting out. But I there if you need think it. I'd rather just do New Nugget Bridge first. I, I, I maybe would that's agree with you on that. 
I think that Nugget Bridge is, is fine. If you're gonna go up anyway, you might as well full send your way through. Yeah. Dodging the Zoom Vats. The Zoom Vats stink. Yeah, they Kid Rocker somehow is taking to Helix. Oof. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Good old Lord Helix action over here. We'll be seeing Kabuto later in, in Fuchsia City, as the fossil that you do not pick here ends up being revived later um, and gets donated to the, the Fuchsia Pokemon Go zone, I suppose. No Safari Zone. No Safari Zone. Very sad. I think I've ever been in Go Zone anyway. Uh, but as far as progression goes, Kid Rocker is in that Justin James fight, as we mentioned. Um, we'll be Yo. headbutting down. <laughs> the exact, and, like, the same frame. <laughs> like, actually frame for frame going into the Super Nerd fight for both Wave and Zimlik. Very, very nice. Oh. Almost one shot at that Voltorb. So close. So close. Unlucky. Unfortunate. Uh, nuclear, uh, just evolving Beedrill, I believe, and is coming up on the the Zubat fight as well, so not too far behind. Uh, going for the Chansey. As you mentioned, Nuclear has not gone into. Ch Chansey, I'm sorry, Clefairy. Wow. I, I see something pink and I immediately <laughs> go to Chansey. <laughs> I, I've been so Chansey pilled recently. But getting the excellent on the Clefairy means that uh, Nuclear's XP should be in, in good standing now. Okay, let's see what uh, Wave does. far as this fight. Kid Rocker picking up safety great balls. Okay, yeah, wave is headbutting. I um, always I always take out coughing first simply because it has poison gas. Uh, so I always just hit it instead. Right. I believe coughing's defense is pretty good though, which is why you end up going for the, the plus four head on the coughing instead of the plus two on the coughing, followed by the plus four on the Ekans, just due to the way uh, that the, the defensive stats yeah, think... work between coughing and Ekans. That makes sense. Okay, nice. Nuclear Kid Rocker's teaching the uh, broken moves right now. Okay, what is this? What are these Pika stats of 18? Or, yeah, 18. Uh, 41, you, you want to see, at least for Pika, 37 attack guarantees uh, a plus 2 zippy zap on Starmie, so we are... Wave is very, very good for that. Um, this Pikachu is... Eh. <laughs> eh. Yeah. It is I, jolly, at 18, after all. At t 18, I'd rather see, like, at least 42... Yeah, I don't I don't have my A B spreadsheet pulled up, but level 18 with 41 seems like very low attack A B counts. Um speaking yeah. of counts, I did mention that we would uh throw out catch counts when people exited moon. Looks like Kid Rocker had 14, Wave had 17, Simlik had 15, and it looks like Nuclear will be coming out of this with 16 caught. So all relatively around the same margins. Yeah, pretty decent so far. Yeah. Well, Zimlik ran to his Spearow. Is catching it, so won't be catching... Won't be getting Firo later. Unless they want to... Presumably. Try. Firo is one of the catches of all times. Yeah. Right up there with Golbat. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Kid Rocker just posting his AV spread in chat. It looks like... Uh, some, some good speed AVs. Uh, looks like... One defense, one special attack, four special defense, four speed. Uh, so likely we'll be outspeeding a couple of the problematic Pokemon later on. Uh, in, I believe, Raticate is one for Eevee that you kind of have to watch out for. I wonder if, I wonder if Kid Rock. Oh, Rare Char! Route four Rare Char. Oh, oh my dang. gosh, you love to see it. We'll see what level it is and see if Zimlik decides Seven. to level up. Seven. Uh, nine levels. 
we'll see nine levels plus a couple of moves, but you do love to see early rare char. Uh, much better. I would assume that is much better couch than uh, it is in Rock Tunnel. Uh, but just having well, an extra I, Pokemon is always really good you. in the early game. Oh, please so, do. So, okay, I only have couch for route or level eight Charmander. So great, double greats, excellent Raz guarantees the catch. Oh wow! Oh, okay. If you Much didn't, better if than... there was no. Yeah, no Raz is eighty-seven point two seven percent. This is level eight, so level seven could be a bit better. Um, right, and I believe and that then... the Rock Tunnel catch is like what sixty-five percent at best. Seventy. It is two C great great excellent Raz seventy point two zero. Gotcha. These so yeah, couch... the trade-off. Yeah, go ahead. Go okay. Um, so the calcs I'm giving out um, assume that the Pokemon has 31 IVs for all. So the catch, the percentage will actually be a bit better because the Pokemon B catch will not be that good. But it's like at best or at worst like two, two percent better. It's not that much better. Right. Like the trade-off is like good early catches. Um, We'll see if Zimlik decides to keep this Charmander all the way, or, or if he decides to deposit it along with his other weeks and catches. Um, and then Rock Tunnel, it's, it's very easy to get Charmander to Charmeleon for that extra catch, because it comes at a much higher level, and I believe Charmander evolves at level 16. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Will we now see Squirtle? Besides uh, have we, I don't think we've seen a Squirtle this entire tournament so far, have we? I don't think so. Like I I've personally have... never seen a squirrel in any of my runs, so <laughs> I. It's I have caught very it rare. once or twice. So I saw. I've seen it. Like I've watched other people and seen it on the way back, so you can't get it. And it feels bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fury is confirming that we have not seen a single squirrel yet. Um, so that will be very hype if it happens this race. Oh no! Poison powder. Uh, you hate to see it. Uh, Wave opting to uh, just power through the poison. Um, it's going to be a little bit slower because uh, he'll have to antidote it either directly after this fight or he'll perhaps opt to heal it on the Sandshrew fight. Um, Eevee has a much easier time on Nugget Bridge than Pika does in the sense that you get three of Eevee's special moves, uh, or signature moves, I suppose, not necessarily special. Uh, based off of each of its evolutions. Um, we get Sizzly Slide, Fire Type, uh, Bouncy Bubble, Water Type, Buzzy Buzz, Electric Type, which happens to coincide with uh, the first three trainers' weaknesses very nicely. Uh, Pika just kind of has to headbutt the Sandshrew and hope for the best. Alternatively, you can uh, 2C or 2 controller fight the Sandshrew trainer and uh, opt to heal Pika on one turn and absorb uh, with Oddish on the second player's controller. Uh, which I believe not seeing healing. as not healing, so that's probably what Wave is opting to do here. And just eating through you know, you, the, the status lag of the poison. You could just uh, switch Oddish here and absorb the side of And then absorb, <laughs> absorb the Sanctuary 1C and then switch back. <laughs> I feel like that defeats the whole purpose of trying to get Pikachu <laughs> out of poison range. Uh, I believe it is faster if you both want to, if you need to use at least two items on Pikachu, I believe that it's faster to just menu straight up rather than having to uh, do a 2C version. Um, obviously a little bit risky because Sandshrew does have Sand Attack and Poison Sting, which can ruin your day. Uh, it's going for the 2C. Switch. So expecting the antidote on Pika's turn and absorb from Oddish's turn. It feels bad when the only thing you flinch on Pika's side is the Voltorb, which doesn't matter. Exactly, because Pika cannot get paralyzed being an electric type. I don't know which generation that was introduced in, but it is a very welcome change um, for Pika runners. Yeah, so Kid Rocker's is going a lot more speed. Didn't even get Kid Rocker didn't even get a fake out. So these Meowths, this one in Rock Tunnel can fake out and just waste a turn. So it's like I'd say it's 50-50. Uh that's not like confirmed or anything, but it feels 50-50, right? Yeah. I mean, fake, out fake out and out. Sucker Punch both are priority moves that can that can beat out uh 
priority moves like Quick Attack or Zippy Zap, um, which is Pikachu's uh, Well, Sucker Punch move. can't can't be or Sucker Punch can't be Zippy Zap. Right. So. Uh, yeah. But in terms of AI decision making, we still don't really know how that works. I don't think. Yeah. Uh, just, nuclear, like it feels 50 /50. Yeah, nuclear does. Uh, opt to enter Misty's gym because Eevee's uh, is solidly at 15. Zimlik, uh just finishing up the Misty fight. Uh, I believe I noted that Charmander leveled to 10 on Zimlik's screen, so it does look like he is opting to go for that uh, long play of the Charmeleon evolution just to secure that extra catch for later on. Yeah, that's fair. I did see Nuclear catching a side up, so I think that was to get 15. I believe so as well. Let's we'll see if Wade gets poisoned again by this coughing. This coughing feels so bad. Right. Uh, I think you mentioned uh, what was it at eighteen forty one. I don't know if Wave's forty one is at. Okay. If Wave it has to hit, it has to hit nineteen. Yeah. If it, it did, to, then Zippy Zap will be guaranteed on the coughing. I believe it is a minimum of forty two attack to one shot. Uh, coughing with Zippy Zap. So at as long as we see yeah. that magic 19 on Pikachu here, uh, looks like it. Yes. Yeah, it has to be because between between Misty Starmie and then the rival fight, you have to gain a level. Right. I don't think I've ever had an experience where that has not happened. Unless Kid Rocker does not really go for Nox Skip. Boo. Nox Skip is very think... very interesting. Um having to do basically the equivalent of three Alexa skips at the same time, just squeezing out of each trainer's vision. Um, Does Wave go for it? I have no idea if Wave goes for it or not. We'll see. He is ankled. No, nope, Wave does not. We're, we're, we're taking the safe route today, which is very, very respectable. So if you see where uh, Wave waited on that youngster, Nox skip makes it so you don't have to wait. So you're only saving like one second or something, but... But it every second cool. does add up over the course of a race. You also get swag points. True. That's that's arguably the more important portion of, of Nox Skip is that you get that extra sense of swag. Yeah. If you if you run it on like third party Joy Cons, um, it should be easier because if you go in a straight line from where you can can uh, pass the hiker, you cannot the youngster cannot see you even if you're standing in his line of vision. Uh, hmm. But because so that's why I consider it easier easy, just because if you're going straight right, you keep, the youngster will not see you, and then you can like hug that little grass pillar thing and run gotcha. into it, and he still can't see you. The more you know. Yeah, I saw Knox Connery do it by accident because he didn't know where to go, so he went up instead of down. And he just passed the hiker, and I was like, what? You can do I that? Like, I feel like the best things have been like found in this game like purely by accident. Like the whole um, mount skips thing, uh, this this category being any percent no mount skips, uh, there are a subset of trainers in Victoria Road that you are able to skip using, uh, using very, very precise movements and uh, on a ride Pokemon that uh, we will not be doing that in this category, unfortunately. Sorry, uh, sorry to all you fancy Joy-Con users out there. Or you know, just use regular Joy Cons and just hit them without setups. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Just hit. It's just that easy. Said every person that tried to land Hydro Pump ever. Hey, when I was a kid, Hydro Pump never missed. Always hit. It's a 50-50 shot, either it hits or it doesn't. <laughs> uh, noticing that Nuclear picking up the, the rare candy that I did mention, uh, possibly just for a bit of safety. Um, there are uh, three to four rare candies that you do need to pick up uh, to get our main to a reasonable level later on. Uh, that in Staryu slash Starmie. Yeah, so we'll just go over the catch counts again. Uh, nothing really has changed, but we have Wave Warrior, Warrior with 17, Kid Rocker, 14, Zimlik, 18, Nuclear, 17. These are all, like, pretty high. I mean, Kid Rocker's is, like, normal. I would say Kid Rocker's is pretty normal to average. Yeah. Um, 
but we'll see how... 18, 17, 17, that's a... Yeah, very, very high coming out of Cerulean. Um, that is for sure. I feel like the average Cerulean exit is around 14 to 15, because you'll be... Yeah, that's what I feel like. You'll be catching a lot of things, presumably on Route 6, uh, coming up that Kid Rocker is now heading towards. You mean you don't see nothing and then just leave? I feel like... <laughs> route 6, at least for Pikachu, is definitely a feast-famine sort of route. Uh, you see Growlithe, you celebrate. You don't see Growlithe or Abra, you uh, kind of wallow your head in despair. Uh, because, uh, at least for Pikachu, you definitely would prefer to have either Growlithe or Kadabra going into the SSN rival fight, as well as the, the two Route 9 trainers. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, you can do it with Oddish, but the Sandshrew, uh, the Sandshrew trainer makes things very dicey if it decides to do Pocket Sand or Dig. Uh, whereas for Eevee, I believe you can just kind of mosey on through. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you want to be 18 for uh, Rival 3. So you kind of want to catch something if you're like 17 still. Right. Uh, 18 know. is a really Ooh, a really good threshold to be. Um, if you are at all familiar with how damage is calculated in this game... Um, Wait, was uh, that a... That was a Meowth. That was, that was a Meowth. Oh. <laughs> Please like, don't got... give me a heart attack like that. Holy moly. <laughs> I, I, I saw something small, but I think it was a Meowth, but I couldn't Something really small it. and not purple or yellow or flying. Yeah. Uh, maybe you've seen... Uh, May's uh, little damage calc sort of thing at GDQ once upon a time, but uh, you do get, based off the damage calculations, you do get a boost at levels that end in 0, 3, 5, or 8. Um, so 18 is kind of where you at least want to be minimum uh, going into these next couple of fights. No, wave uses it there instead of at the entrance. Interesting. I usually lower right at the entrance to the 6. Yeah, I guess it really depends on what your expectations are going to Route 6. Generally, uh, you want to, the optimal time to lure is basically right after you pick it up. So that way, when you do the Vermilion Shop, uh, the lure will run out and you don't get that extra confirmation text box. Um, luring a little bit oh, later Nabra. in the guardhouse. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, luring a little bit later in the guardhouse will give you those precious extra steps in order to get the Pokemon that you need. We love to oh, see. see. You'll have to see the, the trifecta of Abra, Vulpix, and Jiggly. Um, very, very good Route 6, for sure. I well, good thing, too, for Wave is that Abra is facing away from him. So he doesn't have to deal with, like, using the second controller to pop up it, um, and having it teleport away. So. Exactly. Because nice. Abra, as soon as it gets in or spawns on the screen, if you even move the slightest bit in front of the Abra, it'll just say sayonara and get the heck out of dodge. Okay, so fun fact, you, um, that Abra, you can actually just throw to the left, and if it cycles, right, you can just hit excellent uh, just by throwing to the left like immediately when you enter it. Um, yeah, I have done that once, but <laughs> opting to Nanab unfortunately doesn't get in. Um, the nab berries uh, will basically stun the Pokemon and force it to not move and not attack. Uh, another great, hopefully it does get in this time. Kid Rocker, first to achieve Vermilion Trainer Skip. Very, very good. Abusing the, the line sight between both those trainers and squeezing right in the middle of those two to avoid a, nice. uh, an optional encounter. So that great, that great... Great, so great Pokeball, nice to two controller, eighty three point seven two percent. So Wave kind of got robbed on that breakout. Yeah, that very was like unlucky. High eighties, low ninety percent chance of catching. Got robbed. <laughs> Truly. Looks like Simlik is just about to get out of Cerulean and Nuclear, taking <laughs> Knock Skip fairly safely. Okay. Successful. <laughs> That's probably. That was probably slower than just doing the normal, but knock skip, let's go, nuclear. Let's yeah. go. You gotta let's respect go. it. Let's go, swag points. Swag points, let's go. Plus one swag for nuclear in uh, <laughs> in today's race. Uh, 
wave had really good round six. Like everything disappeared. Oh. It oh, <laughs> thankfully Laura wearing off directly after the skip, so you don't have to, don't have to readjust or anything. Did you talk about when Kid Rocker did it? Uh, Kid Rocker, yeah, uh, Kid Rocker was a very standard um, Vermilion Trainer skip. So, yeah, but typically yeah, easier to there. to go up the the reverse way than it is to go down. Everybody kind of has their own way of going down towards Vermilion. Some people use uh, visual cues on the ground. Some people just kind of yolo it and i don't know how they do it uh but at the very least going back up which we'll see in a couple of minutes um you can actually just line yourself up along the center column of tiles along the ground and that is a pretty good uh visual cue to go back up yeah it's also easier on my pokemon like persian I, which you won't see I don't know how you people end up doing it on ride pokemon it's gives me stress every single time <laughs> So when we were talking about skips earlier, I'm still sad Persian can't do it. Yeah, uh, to, to note what Joker is referring to, if you catch, I believe, five Growlithe or five Meowth, um, there is an NPC uh, right behind the Vermilion Gym that can uh, give you a free ride Pokemon in Persian or Arcanine. Uh, unfortunately, not very viable for this particular category, but uh, is... Uh, solid in Diploma or possibly AOP. I can't recall off the top of my head at the moment. If you want to do dumb, risky strats in AOP, then yes, it's good. But, <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to do boring, safe strats, <laughs> then it's not good. Um, fighting Rival for an SSAM is two controllers. Eevee used to do one control with tons of set. Oh! Avra on Ziplic screen! Oh, you, know, you this, love to see it. These, like, spots are doing pretty good for people. Yeah, what is that? Are we three for three for Abra's? Or is it two for three? I don't, I don't think... Wait, did Kid... I don't think Kid Oh, Rock Kid Rocker did not uh, receive an Abra. I just checked his uh, party yeah, screen. Two for three. On the way back, though. Oh, possibly. But we all know too that he spawns in Route 6 on the way back. This yeah. is known. Too bad uh, we won't be seeing cadaver strats from Wave today in Hideout. I'm lucky. Can't believe it. I've heard rumors of cadaver strats. Uh, I don't think anything has really been set in stone. Just because you you have to know what your cadaver stats are, I believe. But uh... wait, can you use Abra on this fight? I don't remember. Uh, I you thought can it had use to be Abra. Cadaver. Um, yeah, you for at least for Pika. Um, you can opt to set up multiple X attacks, which I believe, considering that uh, Wave's Pikachu is minus special attack, uh, possibly opting to go for. You really just need a placeholder Pokemon for this. Um, if you are not minus special attack and you are level 21 on Pikachu, you can opt to one control of this fight instead, uh, because Thunderbolt will knock out the Pichotto in one shot, avoiding Pocket Sand or Sand Attack, and then you can set up a couple of X attacks on the EV to finish out the fight. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. That's, that's what happens when you get a Chansey. <laughs> Even when I catch five Growlits, I still get two controllers. <laughs> I'm like level 23. <laughs> Imagine catching five Growlits and it's still not being equivalent to one Chansey. <laughs> well, just get the supersized Growlith, then, then it's definitely equivalent. Like similar so to just finishing up Route 6 with a Vulpix catch. Um, current catch counts, uh, I know that we're having a little bit of trouble on Nuclear's End, but just to keep you updated on catch counts, uh, Wave, I believe this Kadabra gets Wave 2. Let me just check this. 21. Rocker, 21. Yep, that is 21. Uh, Kid Rocker is at 16 coming out of SSN. Uh, Zimluck evolving into uh, his 22nd catch. And it looks like Nuclear is currently sitting on 17 as they exit Cerulean. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so right now it looks like Progress Rise Kid Rock is a little ahead, but because Wave is five Pokemon up, I would actually say Wave is ahead. Um, right. Uh, we all know the copy pasta by now, um, but we can. So. 
the the difference of five Pokemon is roughly, give or take, anywhere between uh, two minutes, thirty seconds to three minutes, depending on method of obtaining. Zimli got another Abra and also did. So we, all the trainer skips have been done so far. No mess. Love to see it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to tell what nuclear is. Yeah, Stuff looks is. like we're looks like tech is on the job right now. We'll we'll keep you all updated on how that goes as we know. Uh, but for the time being, uh, Kid Rocker coming up on the Route Nine Double Trainer Gauntlets, Wave Warrior not too far. Uh, Don't leave the trackers uh, for now. Hey, look, we're we've got trackers. <laughs> for uh, now, it looks like uh, we will keep you updated. It looks like Nuclear will possibly be. Uh, We'll be looking at the local recording later to determine Nuclear's time, uh, but for now, enjoy the the trackers being back on screen as we head into the mid game. Yeah, Route Ten is fun and everyone loves it. Everybody loves Route Ten, especially when four Furo pop up on your screen. <laughs> okay, Wave is doing this trainer skip and. Ooh, Sketchy it gets, and gets the hit, one you unfortunately. don't want it. This is the one you. Well, this won't matter because Wave is high level, and I think Headbutt yeah. can kill. Uh, at, but... Yeah, at yeah Headbutt will at least at minimum two shot this Bell Sprout. Um, just a little bit of unfortunate time loss on on Wave's end. Yeah. Um, the other trainer has Charmander, so you prefer. Oh, it didn't kill. Okay. Not just a little time waster. But yeah, Charmander's better to hit for PK. Yeah. yeah, if you hit either of these trainers on Eevee, um, you can either Sizzly Slide or Bouncy Bubble the the Bell Sprout or Charmander, respectively. And it's not too much of an issue. Um, nice Growlithe on wave screen. Imagine seeing a Growlithe on Route 6 going back, ever. Yeah. Imagine seeing anything. Seriously. And Simlet coming up on the, on the Rival 3 fight. Uh, will probably be pretty much the same uh, same formula as what Kid Rocker did, two seeing and uh, buffing Eevee up to take out all of Rival 3's Pokemon. I so you have to use uh, for these next two fights for Wave. You have to use Kadabra or Growlithe or something. I really Correct. wanted like Ivysaur or Drowsy to work. And yeah, I mean, Ivasaur just doesn't really get a whole lot outside of Vine Whip, and even then, Ivasaur's attack is lower than its special attack, I believe. Whereas, and also considering that Sandshrew has much higher defense than special defense, means that uh, if you have to, Oddish and Gloom is the preferred choice. Um, if you don't have Growlithe or Kadabra, but seeing as Wave, uh, in fact, does have both, um, is probably going to opt for the. Kadabra here, seeing as Abra was in slot 2 during Rival 3. Yeah, hopefully the Radicate does not outspeed the Kadabra and crunch it to death. Right. I believe Kad Kadabra needs to be at minimum 47 speed to outspeed the Radicate. Um, Kadabra being very speedy, generally speaking, and also has high special attack means that uh, ranges are not an issue. Um, in case you are unaware, when we speak of ranges, every damage calculation essentially gets multiplied at, uh, at the end of the calc by 0.85 to 1. Uh, so there are 16 possible rolls. Um, so if we say something along the lines of a 15 and 16 range, that means that uh, 15 times out of 16, we will get the KO on the opposing Pokemon. Uh, but Kadabra doesn't really have to worry about that, thankfully, along this route. Yeah, it's like rolling a 16-sided dice. So. Yeah, exactly. 15 sides say good, one side, one of the sides says no. It is a, a critical is. miss, unfortunately. <laughs> Who would ever miss those? Yeah, exactly. Who would ever miss a 15 16 range on literally anything in this game, especially Dragonite? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's kind of unfortunate that you can't use, like, if you get, like, Ivysaur here or something. Well, I guess not in this category, but in other categories, because you just like have waste of level ups um, from not depositing the Kadabra or the Growler. Right, and every catches. level up costing you about two seconds, and every move. Nice learn, beginning spawns for Kid Rocker. Both yeah. Nidorans. Love to see 
a good spread of spawns. Uh, Route 10 only has four possible spawn slots. Um, and I believe you can see both Nidoran, Spiro, a couple of rats, um, Chansey, and a, uh, and a particular crab as well that doesn't spawn as often. So we'll see how many of those uh, Kid Rocker ends up getting on Route 10. Yeah, uh, Krabby's the least important, I guess, kind of, because it takes four levels to evolve instead of one on the others. Right, so there's a lot more time investments, but again, the, the trade-off is that you do have that extra catch very early on, and you don't have to scramble for additional catches in the late game. Okay, so Wave just uh, lured after this trainer. Um, uh, some people tend to do that, and some people don't, because this you have to be careful, because even though... Um, you're they're way off screen. Pokemon can still spawn from where you that trainer is, so you have to watch out and make sure you're not catching specifically Nidoran male um, at a lower level. Right. Uh, if a Pokemon is lured on this route, it will come at level 24. Um, Pika runners will generally lure after the the Sanctuary trainer to do party management and all that. EV runners, I believe, tend to do that lure. Um, directly before the first trainer, so it ensures that uh, Eevee's lures will be active for Route 10, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I typically also do it after the fight to party damage, even if there's the chance of level 20, not level 24 in Rain Man. Yeah, Kid Rock got three things. <laughs> three three rats. rats. Let's go. Just gonna wait for the fourth one? No, just go in. No. Uh, for Route 10, a lot of... So there are a couple ways that you can sort of quote-unquote reset the route if you don't get the spawns that you need. Uh, one, which Kid Rocker is doing right now, is to enter a cutscene. Um, this is going to be the battle uh, alongside Lorelei with the, with the Rocket Grunts. And I'm expecting Kid Rocker to go back up after this um, to respawn the route. Another way that you can respawn the route is if you have a Repel, what you can do is enter your bag, use the Repel, despawn everything immediately, and then re-lore um, such that you'll get a, a new fresh batch of Route 10 to, to pick at. Looks like Wave Warrior is getting a Nidoran male, which is really good. Um, Pikachu definitely needs one of the two Nidos in order to make the, the make game fights a little bit easier. Nidoran male is generally the one that you want to go for over a Nidoran female um, due to Nido King's offensive power versus Nido Queen's more defensive bulk. You get that minus attack Nido King, you're like, yes! Yeah, unless you get that minus attack Nido King, shoutouts to Trevaria. Who in a race got basically every worst possible permutation of of natures. Hey, but don't worry, minus attack Nido King better than no Nido King. Minus attack Nido King or is Nido better Queen. than no no Nido King or Nido Queen. That is for sure. Uh, Krabby on Wave Warrior screen, as we mentioned, Krabby will take four levels to evolve, but is a very nice catch to secure um, at this portion of the game. Kid Rocker entering Rock Tunnel and getting a Glowing Graveler, which is really good for experience. So, you, you see, we mentioned it a couple times, um, but Double Greats makes the catch rate better. This is one of the Pokemon that really helps in this category, that we know, now know about this. Um, because this Pokemon, it was like 70, or like 60? I don't know. It's now like 80 some, 80, mid 80s to catch it. Nice. Yeah, whereas I we want for with... fall because good XP. Yeah, and correct me if I'm wrong, but double great excellent Raz is essentially guaranteed on the Graveler, as well as should Rhyhorn. Be. Yeah. It should be. Yeah, it is guaranteed for Graveler. And. And, uh. Rhyhorn. Yeah, guaranteed with excellent and Raz. Uh, to note, Kid Rocker's uh, catch count going into Rock Tunnel, I believe uh, 
just got a couple evolutions and a graveler, but going into Rock Tunnel, I believe it was at 21, which is a little bit low, uh, but is mitigated by the fact that he's getting a lot of evolutions now, as opposed to on Route 10. Uh, whereas Wave Warrior uh, is at currently 28, if it's accurate. That's a lot. <laughs> and I'm also forgetting that there is now a tracker on the screen, so y'all can y'all can follow along now a little bit more easily. Uh, Zimlik taking the, the spinner pass a little bit safe. Um, that Pedinker is the bane of my existence. I have hit that so what? many times. Uh, what? Trying to trying to speed past that. So I, I respect the wait. Uh, waiting for that uh, Pedinker to look down instead of right. If you're consistent in your movement... You can always YOLO pass. Always. Ignore that I got hit one by one. <laughs> I, I talked smack to someone, so someone waited, and I talked smack to them, and then my next run I hit her. It was Karma. <laughs> That's the only time I've ever heard. It. I've ever heard. It. Uh huh. Uh, Zimlik getting that Charmander to 16 now, um, so getting that extra evolution and catch in the form of Charmeleon, which is really good. I wonder if we'll see another rare char. Imagine could. Zimlik sees another one, and then. And then he's like, "Dang it! I could have gotten the one level Charmander." Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't foresee what happens in the future, so it's best to yeah, take no. it as soon as you it's can. It's definitely best, especially in this in this in this type of environment. I think it really right. catches your eyes. Yeah. One thing that we forgot to mention uh, is that on some of these trackers, we may see uh, Omanite or basically the fossil Pokemon plan, whether somebody picks up the Helix or the Dome Fossil, respectively. Uh, that can be used as an emergency option if you get to Cinnabar Island and are very low on catches. I believe Kid Rocker still has the fossil in his inventory. Um, I'll, need to, I'll need to check the inventory of the other, other runners to see if they still hold the fossil as well for that emergency last resort catch. I think Zimwood should catch this glowing moon arena. It's nice XP. It, it is nice XP. Catch, catch the Krabby first, and then catch the glowing Nidorina, I think. Yeah, if you oh, don't see Nidoran female um, on this route, Nidorina is an option. It is pretty much as good as an XP bomb as it is with uh, catching Raticate. Um, the only downside, obviously, is that you lock yourself out of Nidoran female, presumably, unless you do some party management to get. Uh, well, if you have six balls, you can, or if you have six, if you have six uh, party slots, you could just force send it to the box. Right. It, it all depends on how your party is managed at this point. Kid Rocker getting Rhyhorn in Rock Tunnel, which is really good. Rhyhorn being uh, one of the few ride Pokemon that are viable in this category, um, and you love to see it early in Rock Tunnel to make movement that much easier. Nice. Yeah, Nidor Nidorina is not even that bad of a catch. Two patrol are great, great, excellent, 88%. So, 88% is pretty good. Yeah, uh, still viable. Good. Worth the risk if you need some some solid XP. Come on, do it. I don't think, I don't think so. Let's do it. No, no, I think, no. Oh, there's the Nidoran female. No, so. Just the regular Nidoran. Yeah, so less XP, but does add on that extra catch, which is always nice. You probably won't Either. ever see it, because something would have to go horribly wrong. But if a Pokemon attacks and the circle does not disappear, it means they're about to run. So uh, that's bad if they run. But yeah, having having sunk all of that time into a catch and not getting a catch out of it just feels really bad. Sometimes though, they run after like one ball, and it's like, why are you already trying to run? Yeah, shoutouts to to Etiquette's Caterpie that one time in in Braiding Forest breakout. Proceeds to run, refuses to elaborate. <laughs> what? I wow. Okay. Interesting. Was well, one of the caterpies of all time. Okay, uh, we see a glowing right horn for right. Exactly. Two for two on fairly early right horns. Hopefully, yeah, Zimlik like... will be able to get one for himself as well to to round out the, the right Pokemon. Guaranteeing the right horn catch. Yep. It'll Raz double great excellent for wave as well. Yeah, so guaranteed. Even if Pikachu 
uh, doesn't get a Rhyhorn, you still do have Growlithe in the back pocket uh, as sort of an emergency. Uh, there is a Firestone that is available on Route 7, so after you beat Rival in Pokemon Tower, beat up the Clefairy um, on your way to Celadon, you can pick up the Firestone and have an Arcanine as a ride, which is faster than Rhyhorn, um, but obviously good to have Rhyhorn now um, to transition into Rapid Ash later. I like how Wave and Kid Rock are getting all these Pokemon. No Zubats yet <laughs> for either of them. Really? I... No Zubats. No, oh, there's Zubat for Kid Rocker. <laughs> so unless Kid Rocker decides to go for like rare Char that spawns, Kid Rocker's done catching stuff, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe so. so. It's called Cubo and Kapucha. Hasn't caught Kangaskhan yet. Uh, yeah. Kangaskhan stinks. Every AOP runner just sighing a little bit inside whenever they see Kangaskhan in an any percent run. Well, that's when you just switch over. Oh yeah, you just convert. Just like, uh... You just like, screw the tournament? I didn't catch Pikachu way earlier, and I didn't catch mine and Drowsy and Diglett, but we're just going AOP right now. <laughs> yeah, just convert. Like, uh, unfortunately none of our runners converting to Ditch Bell. Um... Oh yeah, that's sad. Or, or hopefully not kicked by Koga. Um, well, Koga already got the secret incentive, so I don't think. True. Else will come true. I don't. None of them even faked it, though. Yeah, it's still a very close race between Wave Warrior and Kid Rocker. Um, they're pretty close. Wave does have still have five more Pokemon than Kid Rocker, so. But I think is gone with the pain. Uh, for Kid Rocker, anyway, the trainer battle. Um, thanks to Kid Rocker's uh, massive speed ABs, um, is able to outspeed the King. Uh, doesn't have to worry about Ooh. getting bite from the like that. Unfortunate Graveler spawn just blocks the middle of the path. Yeah, the worst, like these these very Open long narrow around. corridors are, are the worst, especially if you see like multiple Onyx like you do on wave screen. Thankfully, they were out in a in a more open area, but when you're trying to navigate these things on on Rhyhorn, or just in general, uh, it's very difficult to try and dodge big Pokemon like Graveler or Onyx. Onyx has a very weird visual hitbox. You cannot go under the head, but you can totally touch the tail and just like run over the tail and not hit it. Uh, very weird hitbox visually. Uh, to quickly answer a question in chat, um... Uh, first place will 100% uh, move on. Uh, they are guaranteed to be an upper bracket. Um, after first place, uh, it's based on time. The current time to beat in order to get into or secure upper bracket for non-first place runners is a 316.09, which is subject to change due to there being multiple runners uh, and also a, a race tomorrow as well. And who's in that race? Could that be you? Are you in uh, it? Yep, I will be racing tomorrow, but we can talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Myself, Crisis, Saurus, and Vermilion Runs will be the final race of the tournament. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, they probably they probably want to be, to like be more confident in the upper bracket, they probably want to be at least Irons 314 time to be more confident that they'll make upper bracket, but uh... Yeah. Yeah, they at least want to beat spiders. Yeah, we will we'll definitely see how the uh, the time progression goes uh, after today's race and tomorrow's. Where, yeah, right now I think I think Kid Rocker is uh, could could beat it like Spider Iron's time at the moment, but I am notoriously awful at guessing paces. Oh, so see, Wave tried to go under the head. And yeah, and just got getting getting bodied by the Onyx. Uh, Onyx that is technically a viable catch, less viable in Rock Tunnel than <laughs> it is in in Mount Moon. I saw that. Uh, Victory Road is more viable. Victory Road. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, did, the, did he hit the ground? Oh, didn't hit the, the Golbat, I thought. Not, not hit by Golbat, good. thankfully. Another if very If we bought a repel, now. I would have repelled before the Onyx. Uh, yeah, you might see... A good race strat um, is to 
depending on on money routing, you can do <coughs> additional repels. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry for everybody's ears. Uh, you can sorry. buy an additional repel um, just to either respawn a route like Route 10, for example, or if you're finished caching things in Rock Tunnel, for example, you can repel the rest of the way and you don't have to worry about things like encountering an Onyx or Graveler on your way out to the exit door. Seems like Kid Rocker's Sophia fight went okay. Oh, Meowthie's faint. That yeah, faint's another another priority move. Uh, oh, Eevee getting very <laughs> low. <laughs> but, but totally <laughs> fine. That would have been fine even They're if faint fine. crits. Uh, crits in this generation are only uh, 1.5 times the damage instead of twice the damage. So uh, if that had crit, we would have seen Eevee at about two to three HP, which is still totally fine. Perfectly calculated. But still very, very scary. Um, let's see. Wave Warrior on the Sophia fight now, electing to opt for the 1C strat. Uh, a little bit risky because if Flamethrower, um, not going to commentate his curses, Flamethrower did not burn, 10% chance to burn, uh, would have had to spend an extra turn using a Shaler Sable or a Burn Heal to get rid of that, as Burn does have your effective uh, attack while it is active, as well as deals additional damage. If this Pikachu is actually good, you can skip the X attack, but this Pikachu is bad. Yeah, it... Pikachu could be worse. Uh, generally, if you are plus attack and you have really good attack stats or attack AVs, uh, you can opt to skip the X attack on that fight, but most 1C fights will have you doing the X attack. Uh, Kid Rocker out of Rock Tunnel right now with 29. Uh, Wave coming up on that exit with 35. 35? Very, very high catch count coming out of Rock Tunnel. Kid Rocker opting for the, or rather, sort of average or maybe slightly below average. Not entirely sure what the average is. Mine tends to be around 31, uh, but differs from person to person, obviously. I am so, like, stuck on AOP counts, I don't even know what <laughs> average <laughs> any percent yeah. is anymore. Yeah, I need my life splits up in order to do like accurate comparison. Otherwise, my <laughs> my pacing is just out the window. Uh, yeah, this EV Rhyhorn shot is. I I don't even know. Is it considered new still? Is it still considered I, new strats? You, you're asking somebody who picked up this game like literally a month ago. So. <laughs> oh okay. So everything to me is new, but I think that uh, the recent uh, strategies with Rhyhorn and uh, I think even more recently, uh, Eevee borrowing Nidoking strats from Pikachu essentially um, might see Show that. The Pikachu's uh, better. Pikachu is. I am biased towards Pikachu, um, but I will not <laughs> let that uh, get in the way of uh, commentating today. Only, bi only biased casters. Only bias casters and <laughs> Pikachu's on top, Eevee's down below. Uh, noticing that Zimlik does have a Nido King in his party uh, as he progresses through Rock Tunnel, currently on the Kangaskhan fight. So we'll have to see Kangaskhan if he decides to Tunnel. use uh, use those strats in hideout. Overreaction that Kangaskhan that King is Khan has seen in Tunnel. Yeah, we didn't see Rare Char between Wave Warrior and Kid Rocker in Tunnel Crest. Yeah, we did not. We and did not. no King is either, so this might be a very, very bland have, tunnel. Have we seen Kangas in Tunnel? In oh, we, we absolutely so. have this, this race. Okay. Or this round, rather. But just not today, that apparently. Uh, Wave also... Uh, Kid Rocker out of the Rival 3 fight, Wave Warrior just entering. Uh, for Pika, this fight is essentially Thunderbolts, Pidgeotto, while Nidoking gets buffed up with X attacks to take out the Gloom and Jolteon with Poison Jab. Yeah, um, you have to go to that next floor that Kid Rocker escaped rope, because if you don't, then you cannot do Rocket Hideout. So you get to Rocket Hideout and then you have to walk all the way back. Yeah, so feels <laughs> bad God. moments. Uh, Zimmer, uh, opting to, Smart. oh, 
I thought he was going to go for the Onyx. Instead, going for the Graveler that I did not see behind the Onyx. Um, so, good source of XP for Zimlik. Uh, assuming it, it gets in with an excellence. Eevee wants to be, what, like 26 out of Rock Tunnel? Question mark? Uh, big question mark because I, I don't know why Pikachu, I, don't, but... I don't know why I don't know why I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am only solely running Pika. Uh, Eevee is at 25 against Clefairy's 26. Uh, hopefully we see a flinch. Good flinch, flinch from Clefairy. No, uh, no metronome. No metronome shenanigans today. Uh, I have seen this Clefairy go for Fissure. I think Jay Tattles, uh, another a tournament participant, was. Uh, fell victim to fit, uh, Horn Drill, both which are one-hit KO moves, and Metronome being able to pull from the entire move pull of Pokemon uh, can really Gen put a moves. damper on your day. Uh, Gen, Gen 1 moves. moves? Gotcha. Um, Even still, you, you hate to see yeah. Metronome trolls, so no content today from Kid Rocker. Unlucky. That's boring. There's... Yeah. Um... Wave will just poison jab, so he won't even see Clefairy move. Exactly. Poison being super effective against fairy types, despite this being a Gen 1 remake of Pokemon Yellow. Uh, fairy types do exist in the form of things like Clefairy, Jigglypuff, etc., um, which are weak against poison, so just get one shot. Yeah, that came into play in Old Stress. I don't know if you'll see... I don't know if you'll see... That come into play. Oh, what is Kid Rocker doing right now? Teaching. Uh, Ooh, we've got a Glitzy Glow. Yes, Glitzy Glow being another one of Eevee's, uh, the partner of Eevee's signature moves, is a psychic type move. Uh, also puts up a light screen, which halves uh, or increases Wait. special events slash have special attacks from opposing Pokemon. Who's, who's this lady? I don't know who this lady is. Why is Kid Rocker <laughs> talking to her? I don't know. Yeah, this, imagine this talking loss. to this lady in a in an any percent speed run. You would definitely know about this Joker. Uh, this is time loss. To to educate Joker on this, um, <laughs> this uh, particular channel lady in the Pokemon Center is the synchronized lady. Um, in at some point after I think possibly Gen three or later, uh, a Pokemon with the ability synchronized abilities not being a thing in this game, if put out in front, would force uh, wild encounters to match the nature of the Pokemon that has synchronized. Um, this game does not have abilities, but it does allow you to pay 10,000 Poké Dollars in order to select a nature of your choosing for the remainder of the in-game day. Um, so, blue and then red oh. means modest, which is plus special attack, uh, minus attack, uh, which will come into play a little bit later on when we shift oh, from... Oh, Kid Rocker just got wrecked Pikachu. by the Eradicate somehow. Ooh. I don't know if that was on purpose. I don't think so. Yeah. Not entirely sure what happened there, but you definitely don't want to see EB going down. Um, thankfully, Rhyhorn does not get flinched, does manage to, to get the draw run off. That's 90% uh, or 95? Uh, I believe it's 95%, same as Razor Leaf. So, Kid Rocker probably going to be reviving Eevee pretty soon on a menu. Uh, Zimlik at 38 catches. Uh, oh, damn. the tracker real quick. Dang. Everything evolved? Yeah, everything evolved. You got Rare Char, you got Cubone, you got Krabby. Uh, nothing in the future is, is labeled, so this seems pretty accurate. Yeah. For a oh, very, very yeah. high rock tunnel exit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, you got to subtract. Oh, Porygon uh, Lapras. And Lapras. So 36. Yeah. I think. Yeah. We had a. Uh, there was a little bit of ch chat before the race began. Uh, Zimlik mentioned that uh, he was going to basically mark some of the later catches, just mostly so that he doesn't forget them. Uh, so a little bit less than 38, but still fairly high. 36 is still. 36 is still high exiting tunnel for sure. Kibrak is not having a good hideout so far, I think. Yeah, it looks like uh, the the EV half was hyper fang, essentially. You Yeah, Hypno putting you to sleep is not something that you want to see in hideout. Um, 
Pika will typically two C this fight with uh, Nidoking and Pikachu, as you'll see on Wave screen right now. Uh, at very high attack ranges, you can opt to use an X attack on either Nidoking or Pikachu uh, to attempt to go for a one shot on the Hypno. Uh, poison Jab can poison, which also factors into that. Uh, Nidoking is at very low HP though, um, so if Hypno decides to go for a side beam on it, it could spell trouble, but Wave opting to use Super Potion and take a slightly safer fight instead. I think... I I don't remember the calcs, but I feel like Zippy Zap plus Poison Jab is better depending on... Like, better chance to one-shot depending on your stats of those two Pokemon. Yeah, it can be if they're stats pretty stats middling. You'd 60? Have to that's bad. On it. Oh, that 60 on... Stinks. Yeah, even at level 28, which is the next sort of damage threshold, you really want to see 26, or not 26, 62 attack on Nidoking at 62 at minimum in order to skip an X attack on this next fight. Uh, otherwise, you will need to X attack in order to guarantee a range on the Rattata. You could just go for the range and hope that works out. So we'll see what Wave decides to do here. Oh, it's 67. 62? Uh, 62 if you're level 28, and 68 if you are below that, between 25 and okay. 27. Yeah, they're lucky, got to 28, you don't always, and this new game is bad. Yeah, it's it's not, it's definitely not the Nido King that is optimal. Uh, does get the one shot on the Rattata though, so not punished, thankfully. Catching it, like, I think it was one of the first catches, so that was... Helped out a lot to get to 28 for the easier ranges. Yeah, exactly. And then Zimwick so finishing up the Rival 3 tower fight using the the EV Rhyhorn strat that we saw earlier from Kid Rocker. See that is evolving. 36. 36 for, for Wave. Um, Zubat does learn a move on level up as well as evolution for the pasta. So, See, this is why you a little bit more of a time back. investment, but still a good catch. That's why you should catch Golbat instead. <laughs> Do not catch Golbat. <laughs> Do not. It's really bad. Hey, they can listen to me, try it once, and then realize I don't. they should listen to my advice. Yeah, try at your own <laughs> risk, folks. Okay, Rhyhorn strats for this. So I think I think Wave will do Rhyhorn strats for Ry for your hideout, Jesse James. I assume. Uh, yeah, the typical, um, or at least don't in, miss the in drill run. Days. Yeah, just don't miss the drill run and you're fine. Um, looks like it's a two C here, so it's likely going to be drill run helping hand, uh, assuming Rhyhorn is in front. Don't miss and then get saved because it sucks. Yeah. And then the Grimer uh, can fun. minimize. Grimer can minimize, but in response, you can stomp the Grimer instead. Uh, yeah. Stomp oh. is, if an opponent is minimized, stomp will be basically bypass an accuracy check, as well as deal double damage. So assuming that Drill Run hits but doesn't kill Grimer, say it uses like Harden on turn one or something like that, if you switch to stomp, it both dodges disable um, in the case that Grimer outspeeds the Rhyhorn and then you get locked out of draw run. Or if Grimer goes for minimize, uh, stomp is guaranteed and deals double damage. So basically, I wish I knew that. It's totally fine. <laughs> now you know. The more you know. I feel like I knew it at one point and then fully forgot. So hopefully I don't forget yet. The safe rolling chair, I can imitate this in real life right now. No. I take no responsibility. <laughs> but the video game says it's safe, look! The video Everyone game is also totally not OSHA compliance. <laughs> no, no weird Pikachu running on two legs. Unlucky. There's nope, a way but, to make uh, Pikachu run on two legs. I did not know that, but good old uh, Pikachu and EV platforming. Kid Rocker had finished that just not too long ago. Pikachu grabbing the the lift key that is not dropped by the rocket grunt in in this particular game. I I think in I think someone in I think someone out of 
New Amber, Sandy, and King Par made Pikachu run on two legs, if I'm recalling correctly. I think. I mean. I'd have to go back and look at the VOD, but. I, I, I seem to recall that. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure. Um, be kind of an these, amusing spectacle tiles, to behold. This these spinner tiles are so slow. I wish they could speed up. Uh, if only we'll be seeing more of them later on uh, in Giovanni's gym. Uh, noticing that Zimlik did opt to use Nidoking against the Clefairy, so we're probably going to be seeing some Nidoking stress out of Zimlik uh, on Eevee's version. So probably nice. replicating basically what Wave did uh, for his trainer battles in Hideout. No Porygons. Unlucky. No Porygons indeed. Porygon being a very, very low percent chance to spawn might be the secret spawn on Route, uh, it route is. 8. Yes. Yeah, I have seen one there in AOP once. Yeah, so if you didn't know, if you find a shiny one, then you just have to, you just have to delete, you have to throw your switch in the trash. It's cursed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have other uh, prereqs for throwing your switch in the trash. <laughs> Staring at hit oh, only. Clapping for all the runners for getting modest. I mean, for losing time by setting their nature. <laughs> just roll they quiet. They just get, get modest. They can just roll modest. It's what, 1 out of 24 chance, I think? 1 out of 25, yeah. Yeah, yes. Uh, Kid Rocker barely scraping through this fight. Um, he's going to finish off the Weezing and probably throw a potion on Ed for the next fight. And this is such off. a rough hideout for Kid Rocker. Yeah, it's like we don't really. I don't know. Does Ed still use his Rhyhorn um, for? I know there's multiple the fights, different right? strats. So I think Kid Rocker did the the drill run uh, glitzy glow. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Do you know there's lot of strats? You're the only person here that's running Eevee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I didn't do these strats. Ali did the use fairy type Pokemon to sack. I didn't. I didn't. I was around when all the, the these newer strats were made. Yeah, tell tell us more about the strats that you do now, and I'll try to fill in the gaps of the. Research well, I know time. is you just use the fairy type Pokemon to get double or to get targeted. By the poison type Pokemon, so they kill it, and so Pikachu does Pikachu slash Eevee doesn't get double targeted, and then you just use X specials and uh, helping hands to finish off the fights. Right, and with with Rhyhorn instead, you can opt to decrease the number of turns uh, by using Rhyhorn to drill run the Arbok, and then Eevee to uh, plus two Glitzy Glow, or you can boost Rhyhorn's attack even further with. Uh, going to plus four or helping hand with Nido King uh, to take out the Weezing. And Pika generally does that fight in about two to three turns. Three if the Rhyhorn's attack is kind of middling, two if it's really good, or if you get crits. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Nido King got burned, stats like time models. Yeah. We'll see if. We'll see if Wave opts to heal the burn. It's not very necessary. Uh, for Nido King would definitely be an issue if the burn was on Pikachu instead, because Pika is the the main attacker for both this Archer fight as well as the Giovanni fight that's coming up very soon. Uh, all Nido King does is kind of support with X attacks and Helping Hands, and it will get healed if Wave decides to keep Nido King in the party for Tower because of the heal pad that's on one of the later floors. I I don't know I don't know Pikachu's special attack, but. If Pikachu is neutral, uh, Wave could have just he healed the burn um, on the Needle King there because neutral Pikachu, I think, is guaranteed to kill the Golbat because it's my special. Um, there's a chance he does that, need that it could have been a range. Right, and it it would have been more than likely because Waves is minus. Excuse me, uh, Waves is Jolly, so minus special attack there. Yeah, so I assume it's a range or whatever. But this fight, uh, this Giovanni fight that Kid Rocker and Wave are now in plays out very differently between the two versions. Uh, you'll see Wave essentially shoving X attacks into Pika, uh, three whole X attacks to get to plus six to zippy zap the Persian, followed by an additional helping hand to make sure that uh, the Y horn goes down to a double kick. Um, whereas Eevee 
uh, opens with Sizzly Slide to burn the Persian, having its effective attack. Um, very large damage on the EV, so Kid Rocker opting to Potion to be safe, uh, but should make it out of the fight just fine, as crits are also subject to the halved attack from burn. I do know that there are, for EV, there are Raveler Boom Strats. Uh, yes. You're not allowed to do that, but that is not. Uh, you can buff Graveler. If you if you have a Graveler, you can go to, I think it's plus four on Graveler, and then hit uh, Self Destruct or Explosion, whichever Graveler has, which should take out the Persian, and then Eevee just bouncy bubbles the right horn away. Uh, Zimlik does use the Nido King strats, uh, seeing on the Rattata Volturb fight, uh, getting those poison jabs in to make Hideout a little bit smoother. And we'll probably see the, the same EV Rhyhorn uh, coming up on J and J as well. Possibly seeing Nido King Rhyhorn. We'll have to see when that time comes. Yeah. Um... Zimlik only has 36 catches. I don't know. The Porygon and Lapras are marked as caught, but obviously they are not caught. So, right. so just keep that in mind as we progress to the end game. Wave Warrior electing to skip the the five set of Ultra Balls in Hideout, um, feeling very confident that he can take the Ultra Balls in Tower instead, which is a three stack, and finish off the rest of his catches for the remainder of the game. Yeah, you get five from Sophia, the Vulpix Cadaver Trainer. So you have eight total, and then you'll get 13 if you uh, pick up the five and the three. The right. Five the hideout is three and tower. Yeah. You'll often see people either opting to pick up the hideout balls or the, the tower ones, just in terms of saving time on uh, item jingles and pick up there. Uh, if you want to be really safe, you can pick up both and have a total of 13. Uh, but that is, uh, unless you're really, Looks... really desperate for catches, we'll probably not see that. So I didn't see what Kid Rocker do. I see Wave didn't, I'm pretty sure Wave didn't lore for, um, Tower. Could be wrong. Yeah. Um, I feel like I the, no lore. the speedrunning community is pretty split on whether or not luring in Tower is a good idea. Uh, there's only so much floor space for Pokemon to spawn on, um, so even though Loring does sort of help along those spawn rates, uh, you could you could basically lure and effectively not see anything spawn in tower until like the very yeah. end, and then a ghastly spawns as you're heading to the next room, and then you're sad. <laughs> yeah, spawn rates are bad here. So I don't I don't personally I don't lure. Uh, I do. I just go without it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of 50-50. Like, if I need both Ghastly and Cubone, I'll lure. Uh, but if I need one or the other, I generally won't. Uh, seeing on at least Wave's tracker, it looks like Wave does not own a Cubone yet. Uh, Kid Rocker does have Cubone. Uh, Zimlik has Cubone. Nuclear does have Cubone. Uh, but imagine seeing Tower Cubone in a position where you actually need it, right? Yeah, you only see it when you don't. You also only see Tower Chansey when you don't need it. Because Chansey like can spawn time. here. Uh, other yeah, spawns. So, how the rare spawns. So, how the rare spawns work is um, it checks, and then, like, based on your chain, uh, it, it has a percent chance to, like, see it. So, um,. One, it's like 0.5, and then two, if you're on a two chain, it's 0.75, and then uh, I think it's like 1% at 6, and then at 11, it's like 50%. So at 11, you will like always see a chain Pokemon, like frequently. But we, that takes a lot of time. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be on an 11 chain during any percent NMS runs. Yeah, but that's why we chain 11 in AOP, because then the rare hitmon spawn really quickly. Feels uh, Zimlik screen, it looks like, uh, does go for the Nidoking Rhyhorn strats for 
hide out Jesse and James. It looks like Rhyhorn managed to take out the Arbok just fine uh, in one shot, which is really good. Uh, we're about to see Helping Hand. Uh, ooh, crit. good crit on the Weezing. Not sure if that mattered. Don't know this Rhyhorn's attack, but you, you love to see a two-turn Jesse and James. Both Hideout and Tower Jesse and James are really, really scary fights. Um, if you do not manage to get the, the one or the two shot, respectively. So getting that crit, really, really good for Zimlek. Um, doing some party management now to uh, oh, address the Archer fight. Yep, and... Oh, we've already caught a Ghastly. Wait. Uh, just two Ghastlies. It. Yeah. So Wave just marking Ghastly. Kid Rocker already getting Ghastly um, for himself. So we're two of three. Uh, hopefully we can see three of three. Um, and possibly four of four. Ooh, just missed the like, greater excellent or whatever that would have been. But as long as it gets in, it doesn't matter. It's hard to hit Gasly's, kind of. Yeah, typically, if you if Gasly is your first catch uh, post Ultra Balls, you'll you'll switch to Ultras, and then some people will opt to nab it to stun it in place, and some people will opt not to. Uh, but getting a nice or a great on Gasly is generally what you want to see. That uh, that was like an eighty-one percent chance to catch. So, so nice. favored. As long as it gets in the ball. And at this point in the game, uh, XP doesn't really matter a whole lot. We're about to see Pikachu and Eevee get relegated to the box after the Jesse and James fight in tower. So XP doesn't really matter a whole lot here um, until we get a new batch of Pokemon. Kid Rocker really wants to find KG Psyduck. Ponyta Doduo on sound 17. Yeah, looking at Kid Rocker's tracker right now, they've got a they've got exactly 50 planned. Um, they don't have Tensile well, Pool or Grimer marks yeah. right now. Well, they no Eevee. They have Coffee marked, not Grimer. Oh, that's right, Eevee. Peak a moment right here. <laughs> you can always YOLO Route 7 in Africa. <laughs> this is true. Oh, Wave Peak is almost dead. Did it get double targeted? I was uh, no. So what Pika ends up doing is that uh, if you do have Growlithe, which Wave did, um, you use Growlithe as that sacrifice Pokemon, as you had mentioned earlier, uh, in lieu of Jigglypuff or Clefairy, uh, because you'll be using it as a ride Pokemon later on. And then Rhyhorn can come in second to kind of heal up Pikachu and tank uh, Weezing's special attacks. Okay, interesting. I don't think you need to heal that. By him. Um, wow, the Weezy's just fainted at, like at the same time. <laughs> more, more frame perfect sinks from uh, from Wave and Kid Rocker over here. <laughs> this peak, this this Pikachu is. Well, it doesn't is... matter anymore because Wave yeah, is done, done with Pika, Kid Rocker is done with Eevee. Uh, they both did get Ghastly, um, so they'll be using that as a sort of speed threshold to escape from the next fight. Uh, but effectively, they are done with their starters. Thank goodness. Also, we, there's like a huge level jump, um, so it's kind of harder to use these starters because trainers will have Pokemon in like mid 40s, low 40s. Right. So Pika and Eevee being usually being at around level 30, coming out of tower. The next, uh, the next Pokemon that we'll be switching to, which is going to be the Staryu evolving to Starmie, uh, comes in at a solid level 43 to start. Wait. He just took, he just deposited Growlithe. Why use Growlithe instead of the fairies if you're not going to ride it? Uh, not entirely because... sure. I don't know if Wave Warrior picked up the Fire Stone that was on Route 7. I'm looking at the tracker right now, and it does not look like Wave has Arcanine planned. Uh, so yeah. it's possible that he just ended up skipping the Fire Stone, um, which would force you to use Rhyhorn anyway. Uh, but so Growlithe like, As is... a sacrifice Pokemon, Jigglypuff and Clefairy are safer because it's poison super effective against them with Growlithe. Um, and he worked out, so it's whatever. But yeah, it did work it out. And... the fairies. 
Growlithe being at lower levels still does mean that damage roll against Growlithe is still probably higher than it would be against Pikachu. So that's what the AI is going to target anyway, but yeah. It is safer in the sense that like Clefairy and Jigglypuff should get targeted for sure. Uh, but we're electing to keep Rhyhorn around a little bit longer uh, until that Rapidash and Ponyta come into play. Zimluck finishing up Hideout and going into Tower soon, getting uh, Flighty Fly? I don't know. I actually uh, don't know. Skydash. Skydash, yeah. It's Skydash. I'm so it's used to the like... the most safe flying device. Indeed. Just uh, this little swing on some balloons. Well, yeah, so I always want to push. do the alliteration names, like Pushy Push and stuff, yeah, when I can't think of what the actual names in. Because, you know, you got, yeah, like, we... Batty Bad and, like, Bouncy, all these alliterations, so it's like... Yeah. Yeah, Floaty Fall being the, the Pikachu actual attacking move, but... Yeah, Pushy Push, Flighty Fly, uh, Surfy Surf. <laughs> the sky's the limit, basically. Wave is not seeing anything. Elk Go Duo. <laughs> this stream is. Oh, Kid Rocky got a Pidgey. That's good. And yeah. Do Duo, I think. I can't really tell at this yeah. point in time. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully the the stream's a little bit better on the on the actual Twitch channel. But as we're looking at Discord, but getting getting Pidgey's really good. That is two evolutions for the price of one catch. Uh, Do Duo also being solid uh, to use in a fight later on against. Executor, which Starmie like literally cannot handle on its own due to the one uh, type, the grass the one type typing. Exactly. Yeah, the one type. Walls. Yeah, but Wave and Kid Rocker hoping to see Ponyta here. Eevee definitely needs that Ponyta. Um, I see Psyduck and Doduo on Kid Rocker's screen, so that's nice. It's always a little bit scary when Ponyta is the last thing that you need to catch seeing as it is much, much faster than than Rhyhorn in the in the top tier of ride Pokemon speeds. Yeah, Route 17, uh, Route 21, and Mansion being the last sort of stretch that these runners need to to finish out their catch counts. Um, we want to see uh, at least 48 planned outside of Lapras and Porygon as they finish Mansion. Uh, otherwise, they'll have to figure out something interesting to to fix up their cash route. Okay, nice Gasly for Zim. Right, three for three for Gaslys. Amazing. Uh, Ponytail Pony for, for Wave. Really good. We'll probably see Wave uh, as soon as he catches this, do a little bit of party management, um, and then trade out the Rhyhorn ride for the Ponytail ride, which will uh, instantly evolves to Rapidash after he does a rare candy on it. Uh, Kid Rocker will be doing the same as soon as he gets his pony. Okay. What do you want, yeah, Wave yes. significantly ahead, um, considering that Wave and Kid Rocker are at the exact, essentially, plot progression within the game. Uh, we'll see how the evolutions pan out. Um, it's like but three currently... minutes ahead. Yeah, give or take. So very, yeah. very solid lead um, so far. Uh, Zimlick doing really good one of the... Though. Yeah, for sure. Zimlick finishing up a Haunter fight. Um, Pikachu doesn't really have too much trouble with the Haunters because Zippy Zap uh, is equivalent in priority to Sucker Punch, both at plus two speed, but Pikachu being faster than Haunter um, will get that Zippy Zap off every single time. Uh, as opposed to Eevee, which does not use a priority move to KO it, will take some chip damage from the next Haunter's Sucker Punch, more than likely, going into the Tower of Justin James fight. Rapidash, catch it. Big horse, <laughs> Eevee. Waves already you set Haunter? If you saw the Haunter and Zimlick screen, Haunters in this game are like ginormous. I don't know why they're so big. Nice Dodrio too. <laughs> but like in other games, they're like smallish and like whatever. But like they look so huge. I'm pulling up Haunter's Bulbapedia page right now just to see how big it actually it is. Looks like it is 
uh, 1.6 meters tall, or 5 feet 3 inches for, uh, for US folks. So, larger than your average 10-year-old, more than likely. Assuming okay. things are to scale. So Kid Rocker still needs... No, Caught Pony. Caught everything on the route, actually, already. Very, very nice. Going to be swapping out uh, the evolutions that he has. So Haunter and Machoke. Going to keep the Cubone uh, just to level it up the pony. and evolve it later. Going back in for the Pony. That's very, very important. And the Psyduck. Perfect party. At least evolve the Pony. It's really easy to use second candy, so don't do that by accident. Yeah, I... Oh. Uh, now you'll have to use the second candy on it. Um, oh. Okay. Yeah, that's another thing, too. Um, very easy to, unfortunately, like either exit out of the Ponyta evolution or to use an extra candy on it. Um, Kid Rocker will probably opt to grab um, a couple extra candies in Mansion and in Sylph Co. to make up for that, uh, making sure that uh, the Starmie will get to the appropriate level. He still has to pick up the uh, rare candy along Route 17, so he'll have two, uh, plus two later on, so he'll have the exact amount of four. So, totally fine. It's Everything's fine. fine. Yeah, because uh, I assume he picked up Route 6, right? You need, you picked yes. up Route 6? Yes, Evie got... does pick up yeah, Route so 6 you... candy. So yeah, you can just pick up the second uh, Mansion Candy that most people don't nowadays, I think. I think most people skip it nowadays. Uh, are you talking about the one on the basement floor? Yeah. Don't yeah. Skip They'll, yeah, Kid Rocker will be picking that up for sure. So it's not really that big of a deal. Kid Rocker skipping the Silver Razzes. Only needs to catch two things, so... Yep, between Coughing and Staryu should be set alongside uh, evolutions as well as Kid Rocker does have nine tails marked so he'll be picking up the Firestone to take care of that portion. Wave getting Surfy Surf. <laughs> oh, Sea Skim. That one does okay, alliterate. Sea Skim. It does alliterate, but I do enjoy Surfy Surf a whole lot better. Don't <laughs> at me. Oh, and look. We're gonna have a modest army. Time loss. <laughs> yeah, time loss, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> and you did have to pick up the X speed in Viridian, I, if I recall correctly, to make sure that you outsped Pidgeot or the guard spec. No. Yeah, I picked up a guard spec, but I, I meant to buy it in the Saffron shop, but I forgot because I'm an idiot. Oh, star. Okay, let's see what this is. CP is live, but we're going to see what it is. Anyway. Yeah. CP is just sort of a generic. Ooh, 1104 from Wave. That's good. That is that is much higher than average. Uh, typically, star use you'll see uh, range between like the high 900s to around like 1171. I think is the upper cap. So seeing Something 1104 like is uh, gives Wave very good hopes for the star. Um, the the stats could be redistributed around. Um, but we'll see what happens when he levels up the Staryu and evolves into Starmie. This could be like 31 HP, death, special defense. Don't don't curse attack, the star. And then don't zero curse the stars. Speed. Joker. Joker, please. It's already caught. I can't curse it. The stats are already set. Commentator's curse is a thing. You realize this, right? Nah. Don't worry, none of these three runners will get fainted if I get one. Surely not. Uh Zimlik making it out of tower unscathed is going to rearrange the party. Going to put Ghastly in for Eevee to outrun the Snorlax. Time to cool. Get out of here. Oh, and team. welcome, Raiders, to star. everybody who is who star for Kid Rocker. To everybody who's coming in, we are approaching the the mid to late game of this. One seven. What? What, what? are these stars? What? Is that? What was what's the second to last digit? I saw one 17. one x seven. Okay, that one is seven. that is the, big star. They still and can Wave be misleading. Star, oh, wait, what was Wavestar? Wavestar is Wave? very good. Oh, Wavestar is exceptionally 99 speedy. Speed? Yeah, 99 exceptionally speed. speedy and also has really good special attack. Um, uh, for for reference, Wave's star was 1104. Kid Rockers is 11. What was it again, Joker? 117. Uh, 117. 11, 17. Got it. 
So okay, Wavestar is so good. Yes, Wavestar is cracked. Uh, really hoping that Kid Rocker's star is equally as cracked, especially considering that it has higher CP. <laughs> what? What is what? I can't wait. To, I can't wait to see Zilix. It's gonna be either like a nine hundred star. Or are we gonna? gonna be... We have to Even see better. all three of them. So all three of them got ghastly. All three of them like passed the Vermilion Trainer skip. Um, okay, wait, wait. What are these starving stats? 126? 121, I didn't see the speed. I didn't see the speed, it's but definitely... it's got to be at least like... 131? I think I saw 131. I think I saw 131. Okay, so this is interesting because at certain speed thresholds, uh, specifically, I think when you get to Agatha, if your starving has 155 speed, you can just opt to skip uh, one turn of setup, of setup entirely and just go with an X special attack. Um, at least for Pika, you will never really be able to outspeed Jolteon for rival 5, um, whereas oh. in Eevee, you can opt to... Oh, uh, nice repel! Got, has one repel left to not hit good, the Radicate. Good catch. Very good catch to avoid an encounter there, as well as future encounters. Uh, Eevee can outspeed the Raichu naturally, um, depending on your speed. Uh, so we'll have to see if Kid Rocker's star is just as supersonic fast as Wave Warriors is. So Kid Rocker's done catching. Kid Rocker did not mark star. He's caught, but he has it, so he's 42 catches. Alright, so he'll probably finish up marking as soon as uh, he does the, the full party management menu. Uh, Pidgey going to Pidgeotto, really good. Uh, we'll be evolving into Pidgeot by the time that uh, Kid Rocker is done with Sabrina. This canceling would be very bad. So I don't yeah, think he's... you would get enough XP. Yeah, I, th I think Kid Rocker is good now. Um, <laughs> you do it once in a run, you definitely take hands off the controller, don't do it again. So I have, I have no doubt that will be good for the rest of the run. I just I'm waiting in anticipation for Kid Rocker's star stats. Same. Uh, Zimlik now doing getting a point on his screen. Very, very good. Um, so nice. three for three on early ponytails, which is really good. Switching to Ultra Balls to guarantee that catch. I think double grades is like 90% if you get excellence, but you know, trolls. Oh, the unlucky attacks, like, as the Pokeballs hit. Yeah, Ponyta... So there's the concept of sort of, like, YOLO throwing in this game, where you want to basically just throw as soon as you can. Uh, Ponyta and Dojo are really good candidates for those, just because of the way that their attack cycle okay, works. Wait, what is this? 86, okay. 91. Okay. Very, very, very good. Very respectable. It's not as good, but it's fine. Yeah, I think special attack yes. is on par. It's basically... Same as waves, um, slightly lower speed, but this should pass basically every speed threshold that you need, which is all that matters. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll probably see either like 120 or 121 uh, at 46. Okay, so let's see what Zips Ziv will be in a few minutes. Oh, we're fine. All right, the wave done with Mansion now. Escape rope out. It's uh, it's quiz time for for wave. Uh, wave being at forty six, going to blame is solid. Looks like Kid Rocker is probably going to be at roughly do, 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 do. Uh, probably forty two going into blame, uh, but has a lot of evolutions. Oh, Kid Rocker got floor it. three Mansion candy. Oh, okay. interesting. I thought. I thought that Kid Rocker only needed uh, yeah, basement candy only... as well as self. Yeah, uh, but uh, that is another candy. If for some reason you require another rare candy in case of emergency, uh, there is another rare candy by that burglar. It's a little bit hard to navigate, but as long as you dodge the burglar's vision, you have that option. Uh, in a very worst case scenario, there is also another rare candy on uh, in the Sylphco building on floor 10F. Uh, there's like a slew of boxes and three items, and the rare candy is the southernmost item, I believe. Yes, um, so for up, up, update, haven't updated, nuclear is still having tech issues. We're not exactly sure what the plan is at the moment, but 
yeah, tech issues. So, yeah, just ignore the not manipulated numbers and tracker. Yeah, we'll keep you up to you as we know. Um, that looks like they're trying to work a couple things out. Um, oh, burn? That's not tomorrow. Well. So this is interesting because it. assuming that, okay, because then that happens, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, so flamethrower getting burned is really okay. unlucky. Uh, I think the the option that you want to go with if you heal confusion and then you do get burned, uh, assuming that you are at a good enough HP threshold is just to kind of white out the burn and just sculpt the rest of Blaine's Pokemon and then heal uh, immediately after the fights. Um, that way you don't have status lag during uh, Surge's gym. What is... So Zim is waiting for Dodu. Um, with hell tricking to try and get a Dodu, I would probably just leave and go with the Fire Blast strats and get Tentacle. Yeah, we'll see what, how long Zim like just... Really just going all the way that, back. So. I think going back to the Super Lord? Uh, did he? Oh no, he already picked oh, up the Super Lore, so he's really just fishing for Dodo here. Um, does oh, have options. Is. Oh, very nice. Um, I was about to say, if Zimlik did not get Dodo, he would still have options in uh, Intense Cool, as you mentioned, or if uh, Zimlik had kept that fossil, um, Almanite or Kabuto would be an option. Uh, but thankfully, it gets the Doduo, doesn't have to risk 85% uh, Fire Blast accuracy Wait. on blue. I think Zimlik's going to get 50 Pokemon without Florigon and Lapras. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Look at that tracker. I do see the tracker. Uh, <laughs> I guess one option to remedy this would be if Zimlik decided to deposit Pidgey now to opt out of Pidgeotto. And then, yep, oh, that, okay. that's exactly yep. what he's doing. Yep, so yep. it's going to deposit Pidgey. Going to deposit um, Ninetale or Vulpix or keep Vulpix uh, yeah, uninvolved, and then those two free Pokemon will will mitigate that. I think I think Zimlik probably want to do the safer Doduo strats rather than the risk uh, Fire Blast on uh, on the Executor, but I still think catching right. Tentacle would. Yeah, but idea of going all the way back. True. Yeah, it's it's totally fine. Um, it's it's still a good route. Um, good to have that security, especially if you're new newer to the game and you kind of just want to follow a basic formula. Um, having not having to sort of need to deal with things on the fly is a really good uh, really good point. Also. Yeah, you don't deal with the uh, the star me getting hit by a thunderbolt from the electrode. Hopefully, exactly. There's still a chance, but it's way smaller. Um, yeah, let's not let's not speak that into existence here. <laughs> Is Wave Warrior gonna get cans first try? Sorry, I have to do this every time. Every time, if you can do it in Fire Red Leaf Green, surely you can do it in Let's Go. And Wave gets cans first try. I can't believe it! Genius! Oh, oh so my lucky. gosh! Has, Who could have seen Has anyone this failed? Coming? Has anyone failed um, Quiz Time yet? I I can't recall. Um, it does feel really bad when you do. I the one time I failed quiz time was when I was on PB Pace one time. Oh. <laughs> so it is very demoralizing if you if you accidentally misclick uh, on quiz time. Apparently, I, I didn't know this until uh, like a week or two ago. But the option for the fourth question for TM twenty eight Tombstone, you can actually say what's that, and that's a viable answer. Yeah, it's just not the first option. You have to do second or third. Um, yeah, I I lose time because I am so safe with those. <laughs> I, I waste like a second to make sure I'm on the right option before clicking. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be accidentally misinputting or misclicking one of those things so far into your run. But thankfully, Wave and Kid Rocker not failing quiz time, uh, Kid Rocker having a better time on Blaine than Wave has, didn't deal with Burn, 
uh, getting through the fight just fine with a very speedy Starmie. These... These Starmies. Like, damn. These Starmies. I'm very... I am really, really hoping for a above 1100 star for Zimlik as well. That would be so hype. Oh yeah, same. I I will admittedly also take the worst one ever. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather the best one, but it, it like it'd be great if this one was like 1140 or something. <laughs> but I would also take like a 990. <laughs> Let's see, this is the last catch for uh, Zims and doesn't need anything else. Those are magic harps, Tentas. Opting to knock well, As we know, some it's of these very... trainers here have eagle eyes. Yes. Oh, I uh... think you're going too far. Oh, 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 my heart, That Zimler. trainer, that trainer is bad. It has like a slow bro. Is, is Zim going to run out of lore? Zim, you got to stop moving. Okay, gets oh, a star. It spawned okay, before okay. the lore, so we're safe here. But my heart on that spinner pass. Okay. 1096. That's pretty good very, too. Very good. That's pretty good too. They have all these runners. That that'll do, Star. That'll do. Well, don't worry. Then we'll just have the first statistics. Yeah, I. We're just gonna get good stars. Good star vibes today. Good star vibes. Nice, excellent. Good, excellent. Might have missed the first couple of throws, but as long as the Silver Raz maintains, uh, this gets in the ball just fine. And we have three very solid stars on our hands. Hopefully. I'm, I'm willing the good stars into existence. <laughs> you're, you're not scared of the commentator's curse? <laughs> nope. Not oh, for don't this. hit this trainer. Okay, I don't know where the trainer is. I don't, might have passed it already, but... Yeah, as long as you just head, that. if you head due south, you're generally fine uh, for this portion. And then if you just surf here and then go diagonally to the right and due south, okay, okay, let's um, see it. The spinner see will it, be fine. It. And we have okay, respectable. Um, eighty-five. Pretty, yeah, at forty-five. I'd say like fairly average special attack, um, but it's enough to get you through, and that is what matters. Hopefully it's enough to hit the Dragonite range, and then I think it's fine. Though. Yeah, I think this should hit. I'm pretty sure this will hit. Um, the speed is fine. The speed is pretty good. It's like it'll it hits all the thresholds. Well, yeah, the thresholds. I don't that we know. Do you do you know, fellow Pika Do you know what the speed thresholds are? To oh. <laughs> Rip the tracker on our- Oh, okay, we're back. Uh, with the tracker. It's, it's fine. The tracker blinks in and out. Uh, essentially, the speed thresholds that we're talking about, you want to at l try to be uh, at 118 uh, to start off with. That will ensure that you outspeed the Rapidash. Uh, Rapidash has 117 speed, and Ninetales, I believe, has 113 speed uh, for Blaine. The next threshold that you want to hit is uh, Rival 5's Pidgeot, which has 127 speed. Um, so 128 by that point will get you through. Um, anything after that, you just kind of X speed and you're totally fine. Well, um, Pikachu or Eevee can now speed the Raichu. I don't know the speed thresholds because I don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any world in which uh, Starmie will outspeed Jolteon. It's just as way too high of a base speed. Yeah, but uh, Zimlik and Kid Rocker might be able to outspeed the Raichu, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I am not sure about this stuff as well, but it would be very nice if you could be able to sort of skip that uh, bit of setup and then you're able to one controller fight Rifle 5 in the EV version. And we're coming up to a bad fight. Yeah, uh, Archer is a fight. Um, to put things into perspective, uh, Wave with 47 catches right now, uh, Zimlik with 46 effectively um yeah kid rocker with 45 uh in terms of progression uh in terms of story wave is entering sylph who is the furthest ahead uh i believe kid rocker just finished surge as he's teaching thunderbolt to starmie and doing his uh final stone evolution uh so is behind uh a little bit still needs to do erica and then still needs to enter sylph 
and then Zimlik is making his way through, uh, making his way through Mansion, and will be coming upon Blaine very shortly. That wave coming up on Blue. Um, I don't recall if he switched Dodrio to slot two, uh, but he does have Dodrio, so that's why I'm assuming. Uh, Dodrio can easily one-shot uh, the Executor that's coming up with X Attack Drill Peck. Um, we could see Fire Blast from... Actually, do we have the Skid Rocker? Have to... Yeah, so we should be seeing Dodrio for all three uh, runners. So Drill Peck is 100% accurate. Should be totally fine to just X Attack the Executor as well as then Skull the Charizard. Uh, I think Waze... Star possibly could just one-shot the Charizard, uh, even without the help of next special attack, due to its high special attack already. I believe it's a 13-16 at plus zero, if you are at 123 special attack. Oh yeah, Eric and Shim show us how more trainers are going. Yeah, you can just kind of skirt around there, like, very easily, and there's no real fear of hitting all of the trainers. Any of the trainers, rather. It's very easy to, it's not like super precise. Oh, this star is cracked. So Wave just needs to get to get Pokemon. Yep. Wave is completely done with his cash route. Just gonna pick up Lapras and Porygon after the events at Sylph. Kid Rocker is still needing to evolve, let's see, Dodrio and Golduck, and then he'll be done. Huh? You mean or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Pidgeot and Weezing. I you was talking about Zimlik for a second. Yeah, yeah exactly. You, you talked about Zimlik. <laughs> so just a couple of evolutions for Kid Rocker and Zimlik, and they will also be done with the catch routes as well. So no funky business here, no needing to reset Route 8 for an Abra or anything, no needing to go get the copycat uh, Moonstone. All of our all of our catch rats are hey, what will fairly turn one fairly sane. Do you think it'll be the best turn, or do you think we'll get like protect, self destruct? Like I, I'm hoping for good archers all around. I if we if we did over under but, four point five, I'm I'm picking under every single time. I think we're gonna get thunderbolt protect. Yeah, thunderbolt is no, not thunderbolt bad. Not Thunderbolt pr not protect is not bad because you knock out the muck and then Electrode is likely to go boom next turn. Uh, but again, Archer fight, absolutely terrible in the sense that it is a true double fight. Cubone can kind of do whatever. Uh, we oh, get boom, okay. nope. Boom protects turn one, which is yeah. acceptable. When, so personally, I prefer Thunderbolt as long as that's the only Thunderbolt, which you can't guarantee. But if you only get Wonder Thunderbolt and then it booms second turn, I find that better than uh, Protect Boom first turn. But you know, you yeah, can always I... get Sandy's six, whatever, six, five, six Thunderbolts in a row. We don't row. talk about that around these parts. <laughs> that was so bad. Yeah, Cubone can kind of just, just kind of does whatever it wants here. Um, ideally, what you want to see Cubone do is Bone Rang the Raticate twice when it comes out. That way we don't have to deal with. Uh, targeting it or getting uh, ragged on by Sucker Punch a whole lot. Sucker Punch being a priority move. Uh, also super effective against Starmie. Thankfully, okay. the Sucker Punch against clutch. the Cubone there. That was clutch. Yeah. If if Radicate Sucker Punch is anything, you want to see it on Cubone for sure. And Cubone doing Bone Rang there means that uh, we hope that Cubone will take it out next turn with a Bone Rang. That way, Golbat and Radicate will go down at the same time, finishing out the Archer fight. Uh, very long fight, as you can see. Um, doubles lag is a thing. Also, this setting just lags. Like, I don't know. Cubone, what are you doing? And no! It's... Come on, Cubone, have... make it five turns. This can be, please. You have one job, Cubone. It's gonna focus. Just, just hit. Oh, no, it's not. No, it, it's Sucker Punch, so it had to go for an attack. Okay. Sucker Punch only activates yeah. if you, if the target five, is going to do an attack. Five turn already. Archer. In a race, we'll take the five turn. Yeah, we, we take those, for sure. As long uh, as it's not more than five. 
Uh, Zimlock, unfortunately, also getting burned, uh, but is going to power through and just finish out the fight. Uh, going to use a either a burn heal or a Shaler Sable or Peter Crunchies to take care of that burn immediately following, so that it doesn't tick down during Surge as well. Kid Rocker going to blue. We'll expect to see Doju as well to secure that X attack. Uh, fun thing that I found out a little while ago is that you can, assuming that you are in a spot where you need an additional catch, uh, Magmar is an option. Uh, if you get a Lord Magmar, uh, it doesn't matter whether or not you have X attacks or X special attacks because Magmar has both a physical move in Fire Punch as well as a special move in Flamethrower, and both are guaranteed on the Executor at plus two. Uh, just throwing that out there in case uh, anybody decides to catch Magmar. Uh -huh. 86% Silver Raz x double Ultras. It's not Favorable. Good. Favorable, well, yeah, in my opinion. If you don't have double Ultras, it's just not good. <laughs> and if you don't Silver Raz. Listen, I'm just a fan of mixed attackers. I love my mixed attackers. <laughs> Nice crit by Kid Rocket. Yep, he's gonna burn here. Yep. Okay, no, no paralyze on this way. Yeah, you can be in a oh, situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally oh, fine for us to be on Dodrio. Just possibly a little bit of status lag here from the paralysis. Uh, you definitely don't want to see Thunderbolt Paralysis on Starmie, especially, just because that forces you to have to menu out of battle. It's especially bad for uh, for Wave, because I don't think he has any status heals at this point uh, to deal with yeah. Paralysis. I don't think um, he does. So if you're in a situation where you use both your Pewter Crunchies and your Shaler Sable on Pika, uh, and you get Thunderbolt Parrot, you are in for a bad time. Oh, that could have been real bad. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize how bad that could have. I forgot you used both. That is that has one hundred percent happened to me before and it just killed my run. Uh, so like worse if in the worst case scenario you can two see this fight and just try to push through the paralysis of the Starmie. Uh, but obviously not what you want to see. But hey, thankfully Kid it makes time. out just fine. Archer for Let's Kid see. Rocker. Let's see what the opening act is between Muck and Electrode. Yeah, Zimlik also got perfect cans. Three for three perfect cans. Let's go. Okay, this turn is. It's like we're waiting forever to like see it. Drum rolls and drum rolling forever. Really. Okay. okay. Boom. Protect Saves. again. Uh, interesting thing for Wave is that Persian went for slash first instead of fake out. Um, didn't crit, thankfully, but that is a little bit of extra damage that Wave will need to take into account for the next fight in Sabrina, just in case uh, Psychic goes rogue for Mr. Mime. I feel like... Do you want the Golbat second, or do you want the Weezing? I feel like you want Weezing? I don't know. Either Weezing does have Protect. Since you have to funnel your Psychic into Muck anyway, uh, yeah. Weezing doing Protect on the first that comes out just means that you kill it next turn with Psychic. Um, nice bone meringue to Golbat. Thanks, Cubone. You really want to see Cubone focus energy on those turns, just so it doesn't focus energy on these turns. Right. This Cubone will do Cubone things. Okay, Kid Rocker will have to heal, I think. Yeah, assuming that didn't sucker punch the Cubone. Yeah, assuming Starmie's defense IV is not like completely checked. Thanks. We'll have to super potion on this. I was risking it. Okay, this Ooh. I'm pretty sure Sucker Punch kills. We'll just hope hope that Sucker Punch goes on the. Maybe Cuban. it doesn't. Uh, yes. Oh, that's yeah. really unfortunate. Starmie going down. Uh, probably the next best thing is to bring out Rapidash to Fire Blast, um, or Dodrio to Drill Peck. Either or, this can be an issue for experience for Starmie. Generally, you're going to reach a level oh, threshold. Resi. Okay, good. Uh, revives the Starmie here. Uh, if Starmie goes down and doesn't get revived, if Starmie misses out on two Pokemon's worth of XP, 
it will not reach the next level threshold after Sabrina, which means that you'll instead have to delay your candy usage until you beat Caden, which is time loss. Yeah, this fight is bad. Yeah, this is an archer for sure. This is turn five, I think. This is going to be at least six. Yeah, at this point, you probably just... Okay, Thunder Punch the Radicate, which means that you can just double up into the Weezing. Uh, Drill Packs and Thunder Punches should combo it to take it out if it... <laughs> nice poison at instant we do get a free. We do get a free heal, so everything will get healed at the end of this, but... Right. This Archer is not good. Yeah, it is an Archer. Uh, wave getting Porygon means that he is 50 out of 50, will not get kicked by Koga, assuming that the tracker is accurate. Um, Zimlet going into Erika's gym, um, and then we'll be paying attention to his archer not too long after that. Yeah. Uh, Kid Rocker should still have one revive left after that. Um, I know he used one on Eevee earlier uh, when it got one when it got hyperfanged by the Radicate, so should have one remaining. Uh, so should still be fairly safe to revive Rapid Ash going into the end game. Uh, worst comes to worst, you can always pick up the revive that is in Giovanni's gym. The item ball, as you are about to exit the door on the right side by the trainer, is a revive. So if for some reason you are out of revives at that point to revive Rapid Ash, you can always pick that one up um, if you to see the Giovanni fight. But so far, we're we're cruising. So we're at Let's go. Teleporters are hard for me. Yeah. Teleporters oh, are interesting. You gotta line yourself up to be either perpendicular, perfectly perpendicular to a teleporter or like uh, perfectly intercardinal, I think, um, in order to, like, like that, for example, um, to ensure that you don't get teleporter lag, because otherwise your character will do an animation to sort of turn and adjust. You want to go from the top because then you don't turn towards the screen. Uh, or it's like faster to go from the top if you have the option. Oh, I... The characters turn towards I never the realized that. Yeah. The more you know. Yeah, you do turn towards the screen, so it cuts out that animation if you're able to come in from the top. Another Dodrio Paralysis for, uh, for Kid <laughs> Rocker. We're two for two. <laughs> on Dodrio getting Thunderbolt parried. Like, doesn't matter, obviously. Didn't need to do that, but whatever. Didn't okay. need to do that, but I guess opting to, I don't know, possibly uh, rid himself of status lag. Status lag can't be slower than just them having to go into the field. Yeah, worst okay. case, they're probably equal. Wave Warrior has and anyone, Has anyone skipped Light Screen yet? I don't know if we have. Uh, but Light Screen up for, for Wave means that he'll need to X Special, X Special, X Speed, and then Double Skull to take care of this Mr. Mine. Um, if Light Screen comes out turn two, uh, generally what you want to do is stall a turn, either by healing or doing something else. Uh, but fairly standard Mr. Mine fight. Uh, this. The Persian Slash damage not really affecting the fight too much, so we're going to get through this fight just fine. Uh, Zimlik about to enter Saffron, and should see 3 out of 3 X attack drill packs. No, no Fire Class shenanigans today, no Fire Punch shenanigans today, no Flamethrower shenanigans today. What'll be really interesting to see uh, is how each of these runners deals with Koga's gem. Because Wave finishing up Sabrina right now means that Koga's gem is on the horizon. Uh, as we've seen from many a run before, uh, Toxic and Protect are a thing, and every single uh, Mon in Koga's gem basically has it. 
which just serves as a huge waste of time, unfortunately. So we want to see as little toxics and protects as we possibly can going into not getting kicked by Koga. So, so I thought, I think this is slower, so, so we wouldn't do this anyway. But do you think you could use like the Clefairy to like make them attack instead of protect? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't exactly know what determines protect AI. I would assume that it's similar in the sense of like fake out and sucker punch in the sense that like we don't really know like why they choose to go for it slash when they choose to go for it. So it's, I haven't tested this out either. Maybe it's worth testing out for any of you, uh, any of you runners out there who want to check out Koga's gym with Clefairy, but I feel like you just, the time loss that you have for 2 seeing the fight, I feel yeah, like- Yeah, no, like I said, I'm pretty the... sure it's, I'm like 99% certain it's slower, but I was yeah. just curious if it would- it, it would be interesting to figure out uh, what determines uh, Protect and what doesn't. So you, you also see it during- Oh wait, no, wait, wait, what? Did you uh, get the floor to Candy? You went up the stairs to come here. Um, did you he go did to the go up the stairs. Floor? Might have just gone up to ten, maybe miss menu to either. Uh, yeah, yeah, might either have eight gone or like six, or and it's just yeah. easier to just go up the stairs at that point. Yeah, probably. good call. Yes, that's probably good call if you miss input that. Oh. Uh, Zimlik does. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, Zimlik just finished the blue fight. Uh, Dodu is evolving now. Uh, if if you go into the blue fight with a do duo X attack drill peck is a range at lower attack, uh, but thankfully does manage to make it out of the fight just fine. Uh, lands the the drill peck range on the executor. Okay, now we're fighting the real gym leader, Kaden. Wave did not get kicked. Congrats, Wave. Congrats, Wave. No, uh, no seven species of Pokemon today. <laughs> Shout out to Spider who recently did a kick by Koga run. Uh, I don't know yeah. your decision, but if I get toxic on this fight, I just don't care and I just go. I, I don't want to minimize. <laughs> minimize is a thing, yes, but I, I would. Personally, I opt to heal Toxic immediately, um, just in hopes of getting Protect the following turn. Uh, but Wave Warrior getting Protect turn 1 into uh, Beedrill Protect is pretty powerful, of course, but gets through Kaden just fine, nonetheless. So I think I saw Wave do 3 candies four before, and then did 2 candies after Sabrina, so I, I don't know how Friendship works exactly. I know people count it, I didn't really look into it. Um, yeah, there is. Doesn't affect me, but I think he'll get turnarounds on Bruno because he used five. Yeah, it is unless uh, you opt to skip a couple of X times here and there. It's very likely that a level fifty Starmie at this point gets turnarounds on Bruno. Uh, looks like Boom Protect also from Zimlik. So all three runners getting the same first turn Archer fight. They just have to do everything the same, apparently. Apparently so. Like, everything is in sync, from the gas leaves, to the trainer skips, to uh, to the really good stars, to archer turn ones. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, Kivo did 50. focus energy. That's nice, because Kivo wasn't going to kill the Weezing anyway. Now Kivo won't. Wait. Oh. Start. Zim accidentally psychic the Radicate. So I mean, not a, turns. Yeah, not a total loss. Uh, it just means that Cubone really, like, you oh. don't really care about what Cubone does during this fight anymore, and you just suck it down the right side now. Just hopefully, he'll protect. Okay, so this is just five turn ending. Yeah. Five yeah, and we take those. We take those any day of the week, especially during our race. Uh, way of getting yeah. through Koga just fine. Uh, Weezing doing protect turn one means that you can just spam Skull down the line until you get to Muck uh, for Wave Star, which has really good special attack, and just Psychic Muck. Uh, does protect, you, uh... which is really trolly. 
Have you got booed? Have you ever got booed before? I have gotten booed once, and only once. And I'm pretty sure it's because the Starmie that I had at the time had like zero defense IVs. <laughs> and took uh took a bit of chip damage from the muck. Okay. Nice. Yeah. See, Wave opting for three plus two right? candies probably means that with this star speed, uh We'll have to pay closer to attention to it as it levels up closer to Agatha, but it's very, very likely that uh, Wave will be able to skip an X speed on Agatha. And Kid Rocker finishing setup on Mr. Mime. Looks like light screen turn one, so we just scald it down and call it a day. So this is a race, so I don't recommend it, but. With these stars, do we see 1C Naomi? <laughs> do not. <laughs> um, unless, unless it is very close or you are going for a PB, uh, do not 1C <laughs> Naomi. Yeah, no, in, in, the in the race, unless it's really close, I don't think you should 1C yeah. Naomi, but these stars are really good. <laughs> these stars are fantastic. They could probably each live uh assuming no crunch defense drop could poss possibly live or to, uh exactly could live two attacks from kangaskhan uh do you know that naomi's kangaskhan does have sucker punch so it's possible that you could get crunch turn one either get a defense drop or take half your health and then you just don't have a chance to hydro pump because kanga just sucker punches you into oblivion so would not recommend but if you are desperate it is an option so small time loss for Wave. If you go closer to that gym sign and then talk to, and then at, trigger the rival, the rival doesn't take like three steps down from the gym door. Um, so yeah, it saves doesn't about matter. Two to three seconds, but doesn't matter here. But just it, for like newer people, like that is a little time save you can have for free. We we take time saves where we can because every every second counts in a speed run. Uh, Zimlik getting Thunderbolt on Dodrio, no para, so breaking that stat line. Uh, but does mean that don't need to heal, don't need to menu, just going straight into the second Giovanni fight. Okay, Kid Rocker did 2 plus 2 candies. Yep, looks like it. Um, this Starmie will be good enough to Scald Weezing as well as Venomoth, I believe. And then as well as opt for... If, if Kid Rocker does not decide to one controller pump Samuel in Giovanni's gym, uh, Psychic and Stomp uh, as a two controller fight is guaranteed on Samuel's Nido King at this special I, attack range. Like I, like I said, I'm so bad at guessing paces, but I think Wave can do can safely do safe strats and get pot one, I think. I'm going to pull up my live splits and see uh, going into out of Geo. Yeah, that is looking pretty solid. I'm not I think Kid Rocker is on pace to stay to be an upper bracket, but I am not sure. Yeah, it'll be that. it'll be a lot easier to determine as the the run continues and as we get to the Elite Four and past Victory Road. There's still a whole lot of stuff that can happen in Victory Road as well, um, but hopefully our our runners can get through it just fine. Stares yeah, at Caroline. Stares at Alexa. Stares at Naomi. Well, Naomi 2C is fine. Yeah. Assuming so. that your star isn't like minimum special attack, uh, plus four Scald is guaranteed, so you can. 2C, uh, go to plus 2, Hydro Pump. If you miss, you just go to plus 4, Scald, and you're fine. Yeah, you just have to worry about missing pumps and then getting put to sleep by the Jinx. Or the Hypno. That, that Jinx has done yeah. a number to my <laughs> to my mental during Victory Road runs. <laughs> it's so troll. It's like you, you X-Spec, you lovely, gets put to sleep, you get Ice Beamed, you get Frozen, you Scald, you miss the pump. Things, okay, and then you get outsped by Arcanine because you're quiet. <laughs> <laughs> get crit, maybe die. Only, hashtag only Joker things. 
Uh, oh yeah, so we talked to the that first trainer that we fought in the gym, so we can go around and not fight like two extra trainers. And do this yeah, it is a very long loop around if you don't do it that way. Uh, fun fact, if you do end up wiping to Samuel, uh, like Nido King one shots to Starmie and you can't recover from it, uh, the gym does get reset into a position where you no longer have to fight Samuel and you can just go straight to the Graveler Trainer. Um, you just need to take a slightly different approach to the the rotator pads. So wave is two C in Giovanni. I like it. Um, one C has some risk if you get crit by Doug Trio. This has no risk. You hope the Rapidash dies um, so it doesn't take as long, but this is a safe fight. Exactly. Uh, Earthquake being a spread move, um, if you do this fight as a 2C, uh, spread moves get a 25% damage reduction. So even if Doug Trio were to crit Earthquake on Starmie, there is, I'm pretty sure there's zero risk of Starmie dying here. Um, Rapidash can live on Power of Love, which makes the fight a little bit longer due to having to input things for the second controller. Uh, and, nope. okay, good. Rapidash going down here means that we'll just menu after the fight and save a little bit of time here. We're safe. Exactly. What is what is the threshold of uh, speed this? The Doug, I, it's the 151? Uh, I don't think there's a world where you do it without an X speed. Doug Trio has insanely high base speed, probably on par with, uh, with Jolteon. So I would not be surprised if, like, no no permutation of Starmie stats uh, allows it to outspeed Dugtrio naturally, even with plus speed, I would assume. Dugtrio... Okay, these notes from a while ago say you're faster at 151 speed. In what world are you 151 speed on this fight? That's like I have no max idea. speed IVs, every speed AV in the book. No, it's when you're neutral, you're neutral 31 IVs special attack and then plus <laughs> speed 31 we do not always runners always get always get synchronized from celadon do not listen to synchronize for for um uh, for timid right <laughs> plus minus attack I'm plus just, speed you can't see this but i'm shaking my head right now <laughs> Uh, Kid Rocker getting out of Kogo's gym just fine. Uh, it looks like he took a little bit of chip damage, which likely means that he got toxic either on Muck or on Weezing, but managed to antidote it away just fine. Uh, we'll see if Kid Rocker decides to heal that up and go for 1C Samuel. Um, there isn't, like... It's likely that Starmie can live a hit from Megahorn at full HP, a little less so if it took some chip damage. Uh, but we'll see what Kid Rocker decides to do here on this next menu. Uh, Simlik approaching Sabrina, finishing up these teleporters. Uh, I think has just one more teleporter to go after this, and then he'll be in the Sabrina fight. And yeah, you can pick up his... an extra uh, revive because Kid Rocker only has one. You can pick, you can pick an extra one up uh, in Giovanni's gym after you fight him. Yes, exactly. Um, so has a little bit of buff room there uh, to revive Rapidash if he needs to. Wave Warrior heading into Rival 5, going to be 2 seeing this, as I mentioned before. No amount of speed will let you uh, outspeed the Jolteon naturally. So we will be seeing Wave Warrior X Special in turn 1 to take out this Pidgeot with a plus 2 Thunderbolt. X Speed turn 2, no matter what Pokemon comes out, because in Generation 7, unfortunately, speed is not dynamically updated from turn to turn. So if you X speed on one turn, it will not take into effect until the following turn, uh, which is when Jolteon is possible to come out. Um, yeah, um, I had something to say, and then I forgot what I was going to say. So. Oh yeah, Mega Evolutions? Will we ever see them? Maybe. I, I miss Megas. I, I, they're my favorite, six. they're my favorite they're, gimmick. Same. Like, C moves, sure, Dynamax, big pokes, Terra looks pretty, but I, I, my heart is with Mega Evolutions. Z moves, I never used. Ever. Well, well maybe like, like a, twice. You don't like, what is it called, like Twinkly Tackle or something? 
I don't even know what. Oh, what I was gonna say earlier is why can't instead of Jolteon, why can't the rival have Flareon or Vaporeon? It was the case in in Pokemon yeah. Yellow, depending on whether or not you won or lost certain early game rival fights, it would uh, determine which evolution your rival would pick. Um, we would get Flareon based on that, if I recall. Uh, maybe it's been too long since I've. Since I'm pretty I've sure. Those games. I'm pretty sure win, win rival fight, in, and yeah. yeah. not and skipping the and corrected. And skipping the other one is Flareon. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but I guess they just Flareon. decided to keep with the the electric typing, I suppose, between Pikachu and Eevee. Uh, Wave petting the Rapidash. Good crit listman up there. For and then the if you got the best, if you got the best uh, rival one fight, you get Vaporeon, I think. I'm not sure, though. Because I think if you lose rival and skip, I think it's Vaporeon, I think. Your, your guess is as good or as better than mine. If only we could skip the Giovanni then. If only. Too bad their visions don't work like. Don't work like the v like like normal the trainers. Trainer visions. Yeah, if I recall yeah. correctly, the the gym badge checks. Uh, normal trainer visions are twenty five pixels wide, if I recall correctly, whereas the gym badge checks along Victory Road are seventy five pixels wide. Um, they are you ginormous. Can, yeah. Both Rapidash and Aerodactyl can skip them, uh, being uh, moving at 26 pixels per frame. Uh, but unless we find a Pokemon that can move at 76 pixels per frame, uh, <laughs> no, no, no badge check skips anytime soon, unfortunately. If there was a Pokemon that moved that fast, then it'd be easy to skip every trainer. <laughs> yeah, just just ride Abra and teleport through. <laughs> it's that easy. Oh, talk, talk, didn't talk to Naomi, talked to Rapidash. Uh, I didn't see if Wave summoned the second controller for this fight. We'll see he in did. just a he second. Did. Okay, he gotcha. Did. Summoned it early. Taking yeah. the safe Naomi fight as you should. Um, oh, if you I miss the pump, you can, you can just go to plus four and Scald here. Yeah, uh, no. Zimlik. <laughs> Race, do, do this. Yeah, Zimlik opting for, I believe this is early teeth. Thank goodness. Uh, technically, what teeth are you? I am early teeth only because so there's like a generation of Let's Go runners that ran it when the game came out, and then there's like the post generation which like recently picked up the game and recent being like in the last year or so, um, and I feel like a lot of the discrepancies between like early teeth and late teeth or uh, move order on your starter, move order on the Starmie is like really entirely dependent on when you started running the game. Um, but I'm a more recent runner, so I opt for early teeth because my splits say so. I do not wish to, <laughs> to completely wreck my splits by going for late teeth. I, I used to do late teeth, but now I do early teeth. But sometimes if muscle memory just kicks in, I go back to late teeth. <laughs> yeah. uh, according to, I believe, etiquette, it is technically optimal to do late teeth because it does save you a second due to movements. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I thought someone timed it, in, timed it the other way, where it was one second faster to do early teeth. We may never know. <laughs> <laughs> we may never know until somebody tests it again. Uh, start <laughs> Rapid Ash going down for Kid Rocker means that we do get the faster version of the Geo fight. Uh, so should be coming away with that pretty cleanly. Might be picking up the revive in Geo's gym because he is down to his last revive. Uh, Zimlik getting through Kaden without a scratch. Uh, nice. No toxic, no moon blast. Uh, perfectly acceptable Kaden fight. I'm switching up the items because we got to. Yeah, the buy Just order. So we could go one can... to the left uh, for the next item, so it's easy to do. Exactly. When you buy items in Saffron, uh, X specials are three inputs to the left, X speeds are two inputs to the left. Um, and then usually when you're doing your whole party management, rare candy menu, we just shift X specials to the, the front of the line so that we can access them easier. Okay, Alexis says, coming up for wave. This So if this skip was like 
early in the run, like you would never really see it missed or be super rare, but because it's later in the run, it's like nerves are kicking in and it's kind of like, oh, I need to get this, skip, <laughs> pressure's on. Yeah. Alexa skip, arguably one of the easier skips to do, but like you said, in a high pressure situation, uh, anything kind of goes, but as long as you take it slowly, carefully, and stay composed, uh, Alexa skip should be totally fine. Uh, welcome Raiders, you're joining us towards the end game of a Pokemon Let's Go race. Uh, Wave Warrior is currently in Victory Road, uh, finishing his catch count, just about to do Alexa skip. Easy. Wallace. Kid Rocker just finishing his last gym in Giovanni and heading towards Victory Road after a Rebel 5 fight. And then Zimlik is finishing up a Koga with uh, seemingly no issues, no toxic chip damage, no oh, explosion. Oh. Almost ended the fight with Dead Rapid. Oh, that would have been very unfortunate, but <laughs> good thing that Kid Rocker caught it. Uh, that's what matters. Um, yeah, totally fine here. We'll do the In standard the heal, fight. Maybe I probably would have just healed the starting yeah, that is an option. You can heal in the same menu. Uh, heal Starmie and Rapidash the full. Uh, that way you can just stomp within the fight. Uh, Rapidash being Rapid at health, is health here is fine as long as you hit the pump. Uh, there may wait, be we'll... an issue. Wait, wait, wait. If, uh... we'll... will Starmie get targeted because it's half health? Uh, no, no. So what I'm... What I'm looking for is... So, oh, you're faster anyway. Never yeah, you're faster anyway at, for Pidgeot. Uh, what I'm looking at for is the Kangaskhan that comes out later. So in the instance that you expect Hydro Pump, Hydro Pump misses, Kanga can one-shot the Rapidash, and you are left without a way to set up. Um, you can just expect again, uh, eat some damage from Kangaskhan, and then plus for Scald, or you can go for another Pump. But either way, we'll basically lose you a turn. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't think Caroline did major damage to Wave. I don't think. I'm not sure. I was looking at Kid Rocker. Yeah, I was, to be fair, I was also looking at Kid Rocker while explaining that. <laughs> uh, generally, for the next fight, uh, Lickitung has a move called Power Whip, uh, Grass type, super effective. And then Blastoise has Aqua Jet following. So you kind of want to make sure that you're in a safe HP threshold. Uh, before you enter that fight, assuming that Wave Warrior has not healed, should be good to just straight up enter the fight. Uh, Lickitung is also a point where you can either Scald or Psychic, depending on your special attack. Wave should definitely go for Scald here to save a Psychic. That way you can just Psychic down the line uh, between Bruno and Agatha. Otherwise, you'll need to Scald the Onyx, which... Uh, which is, is fine. difference for him, because he'll, he should have... Bruno turn because I don't think he's going right. to expects. Yeah, I don't so. think so either. So when we say turnarounds, uh, if Starmie lends a super effective hit or uses or use a restorative item on Starmie, like a Hyper Potion or Full Restore, uh, it will like, turn around like, basically like, thanking you or like looking for a Ooh, crit. two seconds. Oh, no. Oh, that is... Ooh. Uh, well, going to send out Rapidash here, likely just going to revive the Starmie potion it and then try again uh, but very unfortunate death for for wave here still has one room left. yeah i think i saw wave wave his hp hovering around the 70 hp mark uh before the fight um but that's just very unfortunate either way yeah just making sure that he gets starmie back up to full hp so that he can just Wait. blitz through the fight as normal Oh, just trying uh, to die? Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably better in this scenario to allow Starmie to get a free swap in so that you can conserve Starmie's HP. I think it would have been better just 2C and just do the rest of the fight 2C. That that you definitely is an option. Turns. Yeah, summon the second controller after you revive and then expect Scald, heal, and then you're good to go for Lorelei. It could have gone either way, honestly. But expect into Scald means that Wave should be getting through the rest of the fight just fine and exiting the victory road at around the 252 mark, more than likely. Well, I'm assuming Wave's just doing all safe strats. So yeah. 
Assuming wave does save strats. Um, she didn't need a revive. She can just revive this rapid dash. Yeah. Uh, assuming that wave exits victory road at around 252, that puts him on pace for about. Uh, doing some mental math here. Probably a 305 or a 306 pace. Yeah, full restore for Agatha. Um, assuming that you one see the fight. Assuming that you don't get power of love to proc off of paralysis. But Kid Rocker getting through the Naomi fight just fine. Um, looks like Hydro Pump was hit due to Rapidash still being alive. And Zimlick coming on. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Opting to 1C the Samuel fight has to hit the pump here. He gets hit by Magahorn. Lives. lives on. Lives on eight. Going to okay. okay going <laughs> going to be going to play it safe. I respect this. You missed the pump. Uh, opting to uh, probably uh, either heal or expect slash go for the pump. Uh, some combination of that. So there's one fight I had where I missed the hydro pump. Get hit by the Magahorn. Miss hydro pump again. Neo King misses the Megahorn. And then, I and then you're just at pump. like a like a standoff. <laughs> Yeah. It does hit the second pump, opts to heal so that you don't have to heal a battle. Um, so, very, very good recovery from Zimluck there. It's these stars, they're all jacked. They are all jacked. They, they can live a Mega Horn. Uh, they can live two punches opting, and a second punch. Yeah. Wave opting to take the sensor there to heal up both Rapid Ash and Starmie so you don't have to use a total of three items. Uh, I don't know which is faster, but sleep. Option to be good. Sleep by the hit oh. Goes for Dream Eater after, so nothing going there. Uh, hitting the pump to save a turn. Uh, oh, I guess what happened is that Kid Rocker possibly forgot to expect. That's probably the reason why the first hit didn't deal that much damage. Usually you're, you'll see Hypno at about like half health. Uh, he will but still does... play Thunderbolt in slot two. Yeah, that is that is one way of ordering Starman's moves. I think that's yeah. more of an Eevee thing because for Pikachu, like when you're using Pikachu, Thunderbolt is typically slot four, so Right, exactly. Keeping like Thunderbolt in the same slot, so Yeah, it makes sense. But Kid Rocker making a good call to, to Hydro Pump just to save that extra turn. Works out for him. Wave Warrior, uh getting through Laurel Legends fine with a special attack. Uh, didn't notice if he went to plus four or not, um, but with this army, very likely that uh, plus four Scald just straight up KOs the Jinx. Lorelai, you can either go to plus four, plus six special attack, depending. But yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll be able to see what his stats are. Yeah, because he'll, he'll level up to 53 on, on Bruno. Um, Okay, Zimlick getting a good, uh, good Geo fight. Opted to one C, which means that Rapidash is still in the back pocket. This is pretty low health though, depending on Zimlick Starmie's defensive IV stat. Kid Rocker getting a Lux skip, awesome. Uh, might need to heal before Rival Five to escape Quick Attack range. But getting through the one C fight uh, from Giovanni just fine. Probably opting to one CDs to make up for some lost time. Stealth Rock because uh, Rap Dash is in the party, so safe. Faint, yeah. no, no faint. Like I said, no, no faint. No earthquake, no, faints. no faints. We are zero no for one here. on faints. Faint doesn't exist. So. Faint doesn't exist. I don't know what some people you're... doesn't tell you. Faint doesn't exist they unless lie. you're Caternies, Randall, Aspects, or Truly now. They're all liars, actually. Just Clearly. Exist. Okay, we'll see the stats right here. I think on this Machamp. Battle XP is bad, so sometimes when you think it levels up, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure. Oh, see, here these Brodo turn around. Yeah, two seconds each, but. Let's see. Totally fine here. Okay, oh. so yeah, 157. Guarantees that you no longer have to XP on Agatha. The threshold that you have to reach is 155. Uh, this is 
This is a fast, fast AS. Also, star. I'm pretty sure uh, it has very favorable ranges to like, or they're guaranteed to plus two Thunderbolt and plus four Psychic the uh, Pidgeot and, and Pidgeot. Jolteon yeah. and Pidgeot. So. Yeah, that is absurd. I've probably only seen one other instance of that high speed on a Starmie before. Because you basically have to have 31 IVs with a handful of AVs to, to reach that threshold. I hope I hope all these runners go to the guardhouse um, to, and get the stat checker and see what their stars are. Yeah, to, to judge their stars. Okay, saving. There. Yeah. Wave, probably going to opt to one see the Agatha fight if you save beforehand. Uh, this can be an interesting fight if, say, Power of Love doesn't occur or... Uh, crunch crit happens or crunch defense drop happens, but generally the standard fight that you want to see is you X special turn one and then dependent on what happens or what type of star you have uh, uh, results in different uh, ways the fight can play out. If something goes wrong, just bring out the second controller. Exactly. You have Rapid Ash in the back pocket. Uh, no power of love, um, unfortunately, so going to full heal. Uh, not going to XP because very, very fast star and just psychics down the line. And that's yeah. Agatha for Wave Warrior. Will we see any pumps? No. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do not pump. <laughs> Do not pump. You know what? <laughs> no, you still die from full health. <laughs> yeah. Like. Pump the Weezing. You don't die. Yeah, if you if you were to pump anything, I think Weezing is the, assuming like special attacks or uh, thresholds or thing, Weezing is the best if, candidate to go down. No, I think uh, I think I think if Wave got power of love, so he was full health, should have pumped the Weezing because he was just like if you get paralyzed, you can just pump. Well, you, you should have do it, but like if you're gonna pump, that's when you would have pump. Yeah, if, if if you pump, that is probably the time to pump. Uh, but please do not pump. Uh, Kid Rocker coming out of Victory Road at around a 2.59. Uh, so this okay, is... the timer is definitely more than a second. So I don't know how... Legit this timer is like... Well, we'll figure it out on race well, time as it goes on. But assuming that we're, we're going by the, the timer that's currently on screen, Kid Rocker is currently on a... With safe strats, likely looking at a... Uh, three anywhere between three twelve to three fourteen pace, I think. It's gonna be close. I so I'm really hoping Kid Rocker beats my my time because I really want someone in the lower bracket to have a hot a, a faster time than me because it'd be funny. Especially with all the shenanigans that were in your race. <laughs> We're on Lance, let, let Lance aside. I'm pretty sure Wave Warrior is doing save strats, so you X speed on this um, turn, and then you take out the second controller, and then you just attack and um, X special. Right. I did see Wave Warrior uh, asking, like, what, how do you two see Lance in chat a little bit earlier? Uh, so this well, is. Well, see, that's the, only reason, that's the only reason why I know the strats. Because <laughs> oh. I saw the answer. <laughs> I, I don't know them either. I didn't know them either. Yeah, but what you said is exactly accurate. XP turn one. Um, if Cedric does Hyper Beam, uh, you can go all the way to Gyarados um, with 1C and then summon on Gyarados, I believe. Uh, it is slightly faster that way, but this is a very standard 2C fight. We see Rapish coming out, and then we're just going to buff Starmie with X specials, heal Starmie up, and then uh, stomp the Dragonite. Doesn't matter because the Starmie is cracked. Uh, will hit the Dragonite range, assuredly. Not even a range. Yeah, especially hitting, probably hitting 54 by that time, too. Yeah, we're like 146, like... Uh, uh, Kid Rocker opting to go to plus four, misses the first pump, but gets Lovely Kiss miss, uh, and lands Watch. the second pump, so totally fine there, just the loss of a turn. Uh, so and not, QC Naomi not super punished. I really hope. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, good two Cena moves all around. Uh, should come out of this fight just fine for Zimla. There's 54 I'm pretty sure for we had, Starmie. I'm pretty sure Eshi's the only one that's one seed in the tournament. 
so far. I could be wrong, but... I don't remember if he did or not. No, he did. I remember. Okay. Uh, Starmie at... Uh, looking at Wave Warriors, Starmie, uh, 148 special attack means that I believe Jolteon at plus 4 is a 15 and 16. Uh, Let's see if he wants to play safe or... Well, I don't even know. There's a there's a two C strat. I don't know, right? I don't know yeah, the same so, strat. Yeah. So the two C strats vary like exceptionally slightly between PK and EV, just due to the fact that you normally must set up to plus six on Jolteon, whereas for EV you can generally get away with uh, plus four because of Raichu, uh, assuming your special attack is not in the gutter. Uh, but what Pika will do is uh, keep Rapid Ash because it can tank at least one Air Slash. Uh, we've already opted to save here. Don't fault him for that. You should save after in this room, though. So if you die, you don't want to go through the door again. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but we will see turn one for Pika is generally X Speed, X Special. Uh, assuming that both Pokemon live the next turn, you will finish off. Pidgeot with either Psychic or T-Volt from Starmie, go to plus four from Rapidash, do one more X special attack, and then let's do the fight. For Eevee, uh, Eevee opts to either bring out like uh, either a really weak Pokemon or Dojo, for example, that can die to one Air Slash because you only need to set up to plus four. So you'll see the same opening, but instead uh, Starmie will eat one hit from Pidgeot uh, as it sets up to plus four, and then you just sweep the rest. I, uh, so with this timer being a little jank, although I think it's fine now, it looks fine now, but with the timer being slow for a bit, I wonder how accurate this is, and I wonder, because it's going to be close. Oh, we're fine. Wait, Wade is going for 1C strats. Did yeah. not elect to bring out the Rapid Ash. Interesting. Uh, but is making it through all right. I believe still needs to set up uh, one more X special attack. So is he just going to plus six? Doesn't want to deal with the... Uh, the on normally, if you do one C this fight, you go to plus four on the Pidgeot. You can set up to plus six on the Vileplume because it likes to go to Solar Beam. Go for Solar Beam instead. Um, uh, rarely see Sludge Bomb from this unless you're within kill range. Uh, it does set up to plus six, and this should finish off the fight very cleanly for Wave Warrior. I've only seen one person get Sludge Bomb. That also makes this like thing. Yeah, uh, I've seen Reflect on Vile Plume. Uh, don't know how that happened, but I so instead of Quick Attack um, on Pidgeot when you kill range, I saw Heat Wave, and I was confused. Yeah, Heat Wave is the thing from Pidgeot, uh, but GG's for Wave Warrior. Can't even misclick Psychic on Slowbro because he will run out of Psychics by that time. Uh, and we'll just go to Thunderbolts. Uh, Kid Rocker mm -hmm. getting a okay Agatha fight. I think went for yeah, didn't get didn't get Power of Love. Had to set up the X Speed. Had to full restore, um, and should be getting through the rest of this just fine. Simlik, like, unfortunately, hitting Alexa, Ooh. not getting that Alexa skip. Uh, this does mean that he will probably need to either go back to Officer Jenny uh, to replenish those precious Psychic PP or uh, take the Pokemon Center. It's yeah, not like, are... it's not dangerous, it's just time wasting. Yeah, exactly. I think this Dragonair is still a range at plus two Psychic, uh, but it should be, should get through the fight okay without, uh, without anything else disastrous happening. Okay, so, well, I don't know, I, I don't know what race time says, so. Um... Yeah, I am, I'm currently know, looking at the race time. Uh, I will update you okay. all when uh, when it is time for Wave Warrior. Uh, but this is looking to be a mid to low 306, possibly, uh, which is oh. very, very respectable Wait, and what? guarantees. 307, uh, you mean? 306? Yeah, this is 306, right? The timer is 306 right now. Yeah. Uh, there we go. 306, oh, 31 for, for Wave. Okay. So that that locks that's pot one, uh, upper bracket. Yeah, so. definitely locks Wave in. Um, congratulations to Wave for locking in pot one upper. Uh, we'll see if Wave joins us for uh, a post race discussion. 
Uh, but congrats to him. Kid Rocker going into Lance right now, and then Zimlik getting out of Alexa and heading into Caroline as well. Let's see what Kid Rocker does if Kid Rocker goes safe. Yeah, uh, opening with 2C. Um, okay. I don't so know fun. how this pans out if you open with two controllers uh, versus uh, opening with one controller. Cedra could possibly target Rapidash down, and it gets a little bit risky if that happens. Uh, so we will see how this pans out. Um, oh, yeah, wishing, wishing Rapidash the best here. Hey, just avoid, avoid the high pump and, and just never get punished. It's that easy. The uh, the pump is on the other hose now, Cedra. I'm sorry. I was trying to make an analogy to the shoes to on the... the other foot, but... I was... Okay. <laughs> I'm like, Forget what I said. Anyway, moving really? on. <laughs> okay, so this fight's done. Just champ. Oh, back again. <laughs> Scalding? Oh yeah, because... Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the beginner notes do say to plus four Skull the Aerodacto. I I haven't calced out whether or not Psychic is viable here at plus four. That's something I should do before my race, honestly. Uh, but opting to be safe here, really good. Um, Psychic on Gyarados at plus six should be guaranteed for, for Kid Rocker's Star Army for sure. And uh, See, plus that four? should be Lance for Kid Rocker for sure. I could not see the one forty six at fifty three. Okay. At fifty three. All right. So that's like a well, should be fine because running EV, Jolteon has higher special defense than Raichu, so should be totally fine to just plus four Presco on a uh, on Champ. And like doing the 37 seconds of pushing the boulder 20 times before exiting Victory Road after a quick Dawson fight. Nice. And then uh, Dragonite going down for Kid Rocker. So champ left for Kid Rocker. But yeah, I don't know if Wave is joining us. Uh, it looks like uh, Wave possibly needs to bow out. Um, understandable. Uh, but we'll be seeing more of him in in future races. Locked into pot one. Uh, I believe the draw should be happening for round two not too long after tomorrow's race. So please be looking forward to that. Hopefully this grass nut doesn't crit Zimlik like it did Kid Rocker. It didn't. Is it this? I think grass not this. Uh, power whip, but yeah. Or, yeah, I, don't, I keep calling it grass knot. Yeah, I don't think even grass knot probably has lower base power than power whip on uh, on Starmie, being it is a, uh, a grass low kick essentially. Kid Rocker doing the first turn of setup, Pidgeot Mega Evolving here, Champ actually leading with uh, their best Pokemon. So hopefully uh, Rapidash should... this Rapidash dies. Yeah. At 21 HP, Rapidash should go down to a quick attack, and there it goes, even with crit. a crit. <laughs> Unnecessary, kind of overkill, but uh, Kid Rocker should be making it through Champ just fine. And zoom look. Exiting Victory Road right now. Uh, so we'll be seeing how his Starmie fares through the E4 and Champ Gauntlet. I accidentally pumped the Vile Flame, but it's fine. Wait, pump the Vile? No, that was that was definitely a psychic. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. The the Vile Flame wasn't full health because he pumped it. Oh, okay. So he pumped it once yeah, and then... Solar beam. But, oh, Solar Beam. That's what it was. Gotcha. Not yeah. punished because Solar Beam. Just never get punished, I guess. Totally fine. So it's fine. Hopefully... I think... What is this going to be? A 312? 
for three. Uh, for let's see. Three mons left. Uh, with two pokes in the party, it's likely that this is a low 313. Uh, Zimlik taking the Pokemon Center uh, due to hitting Alexa. Uh, and then we'll be going straight into Lorelei after that. This should, uh, this should like, basically clinch upper bracket. Uh, yeah, that probably does. Uh, assuming the timer is accurate on race time when it ends. But yeah. GG's to Kid Rocker. Finishing out Thunderbolt on Slowbro. Should have he should have Hydro Pumped again to skip the turnaround. <laughs> should have Hydro Pumped again to skip the turnaround. Just hit the pump. <laughs> hit the first time! <laughs> it did hit the first time. That I cannot deny. But GG's to Kid Rocker. Very, very good showing today. Uh should be in a good position. Uh to maintain that upper bracket in round two. Okay, so it looks going plus four. I think it, I think the star is good enough that they're not ranges, but I don't know. Yeah, it should. If he's going to plus four, it's likely that he's just going to skull the Jinx, which will be guaranteed. Um, recalling Zimlik's, uh special attack at 45 or 46, I'm pretty sure that it's either guaranteed or very close to guaranteed. So let's just see in just a second. Which okay, so I think this would be Side Jay's time. So uh, Thunderbolt on Jinx. Uh, stole, totally fine. Blizzard is not um, not super effective against Starmie. Uh, just a little bit of a miss input there, but should be back on track for the rest of the fight. Yeah, this is top. This is top upper bracket time. GG. Top upper bracket time. Dang. 313, uh, 17 by race time. Um, okay. So yeah, beats out Psy J for uh, top upper bracket time. Congrats so, to Kid Rocker. So Zimlik's PB is 324. Could this be a PB or no? Um, both That's between... The Let's see. It's hard to get an accurate read without like looking at a set of splits. Um, between Victory Road exit and uh, time at the end, uh, assuming safe strats, it's about 14 minutes or so. Uh, so unlikely to PB, uh, but would possibly secure a lower bracket pot one. Um, assuming that the rest of the the fight goes, the fights go well. Stealth Rock, Faint doesn't exist. Faint does not exist in this game. I don't know what anybody tells you, but uh, Stealth Rock only occurs if you do have uh, extra party members. Otherwise, Onyx will default to Earthquake. Oh. Congrats. Um, sounds like Kid Rocker has joined us. Un unlocking Upper Bracket Kid Rocker. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, very, very congrats. Um, nice Hydro Pump Psy on J. the Bio Plume. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, just, just pump twice to avoid turnarounds, am I right? <laughs> yeah, until I'm missing get hit by that solar beam. Yeah. Details. Uh, what are your initial thoughts on how you're on how you're um, on Rocker? Compared to Wave and Zimlik, it felt like I had a low catch count, but out of Rock Tunnel I had 30. So for a normal run it's fine, but looking at their catch count after Rock Tunnel I was like, wow, I feel so far behind. Yeah, we did notice that you were 21 going into Rock Tunnel and 30 coming out, uh, but you did manage to to pull it through in the end without any really unnecessary things like Magmar or Tangela or Ditto. Yeah, um, the run itself wasn't terrible, but I had a couple mess ups that I probably could have not done, and I probably could have came out of this with like a 311, 310. Uh, one of the big things that I remember that lost me about a minute was going into the archer fight. I 
risked a uh, sucker punch because I didn't know if sucker punch worked if you attacked the Golbat and oh, not yeah. the Redicate, and it hit me, and I finished the fight off with uh, Dodrio. Yeah, that was yeah. that was kind of unfortunate. It could have sucker punch possibly could have been arranged depending on your defense, but yeah, I just well based on the last sucker punch, there. I. Well, yeah, it could have been ranked, but I was fairly confident he's gonna kill. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, the, the, other, the other two racers just caught everything early. They just oh, caught yeah, everything. I, I saw Wave get the Moon Chansey, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> he's yeah, gonna catch were... up so quick because of that. Yeah, both, yeah, both yeah. Simlik and Wave had very, very high catch counts coming out of Cerulean. I think 17 and 18, respectively. Um, I had Zim 14. Had, uh, Zim had Charmander, got rare charm for. Yeah, I and saw that. Charmeleon uh, to, to snag that extra catch. Uh, your hideout We've looks got, really uh, rough, frick, also. Right? Oh, yeah, your hideout looks not, not great. Yeah, my hideout is probably my worst split and one of the things that I have to work on. It was very ugly. So I think Eevee died twice? Uh... It died to, it died to the died, Raticate. Yeah, it died to the Raticate. And then... I think it also died in... Or it got close to dying near Archer Giovanni. I know it didn't die to Giovanni, but it might have gotten close. Because, yeah, I lost a minute there. Uh, yeah, I lost a minute there as well. Yeah, I guess it's done. No pumps. Unlucky. No pumps. Unlucky. Never come back up, please. Don't uh, worry, you'll see it eventually. Like, one good saving grace about your run, though, and also for. I don't know if you caught this for the rest of the runners, but the lowest CP star in this run was 1096. Oh yeah, I I saw that, like, I saw mine posted, oh my god, in the chat, and then I saw people talking about waves, I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, I think you were the highest CP with a 11... Uh, 17. 17. 11-17, which yeah, was, had like, all... I think. It's but 11 of very, yeah. Yeah, very solid stars all around. Let's you uh, hit the ranges that you need to. By the end of champ, I had like 150 something speed. I think it was like yeah. 152 speed and like 146 special. Yeah, very solid. That that guarantees everything for for plus four champ right mid Rucker. Yeah, I, I had uh, 146 special attack and 152 speed at 53. Yeah, that is that is a solid star for sure. It looks like one controller strats for Zen. Uh, we'll okay. see if he brings out the the rapid no, dash. Out, uh, turn nope, two. Put out, oh, no, it is just one party. speed. Yeah. So we're took we're out. just we're just going. Uh, this is Void? Void on the hyper Uh For 1C strats, you'll see uh, Special Defend first, followed by S Speed, followed by a whopping 3 X Special Attacks. Uh, ideally, nothing bad ever happens during this setup. And then you can just go straight to, to Dragonite and, and uh, Psychic it down. I think this is... Uh, that's, wait, that's plus 4. I think that's plus 4, yeah. This is plus four. Uh, oh no. We're we will see what happens. Um, I'm well, we made it this kind of realize it. I don't know what would be the the correct way to remedy it if if it is plus four. Can Gar can Gyarados do anything? I would assume. Uh, Gyarados, Gyarados could possibly have crunch or bite. Um, I do know that's kind oh. of in his move pool. Charizard then. Yeah, Charizard would probably be the one to set up. I on. think. Oh. Okay. Well, so we're gonna we'll see, see what happens here. Okay. Waterfall. waterfall. Totally fine. Doesn't um, matter. Realized. Realized he's at plus four. Went to plus six on Gyarados. Uh, waterfall. Um, it's totally fine. And seeing 144 special attack on Starmie means that there is no risk on Dragonite. So we are. Zimlik is through Lance. Um, 
had me worried for a second that we are please we're save it. or please uh, save he did save you. before lance he saved before agatha saved before lance and sure. i expect that uh Zimlik will also save before champ uh, but here's a cycle on the dragonite 144 special attack means that dragonite goes down very easily and then we will be seeing Zimlik heal up save before champ and go into the fight likely with just one controller So, seeing as Zimlik's favorite Pokemon is Farfetch'd, do you like Chidane, Ducks, Quacklin? Uh, oh gosh. I don't know the there's other names. So many, there's so many Farfetch'd nicknames for trades in, in games, because... I only know those three, apparently. Uh, what was... Yeah, because Gen 1... Do you trade in Gen 2 for Farfetch'd? I know you trade in Gen 6, right? Gen 6 is Quacklin. Yeah, because Farfetch'd is a part of the, the Gen 6 XY speedrun, if I recall correctly. Yeah. I think Ducks, Ducks is red, blue, yellow, right? And then Chidane is by red, blue, green. And then I think Kenya is the Spiro, right? Yeah, Kenya is Spiro. Yeah. So Gen 2? Gen 2 Spiro. Gotcha. It's not Farfetch'd. Not Farfetch'd. Okay, two, I got two things to say. My Eevee, my AVs were 0, 0, 1, 1. Four, four. Yeah, and then yeah. my Starmie had 31 special or 31 attack. Nice. Someone said they thought yours was 31 attack, so they were right. The waterfall strats, maybe we should work them into the notes. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was not around for I was not around for Fossy Fossy, but uh... I wasn't either. I don't even I remember that being explained to me, but I forgot what Oh, oh no! Crit during second turn of setup for Zimlik. Uh, this is going to be a reset um, for Zimlik at best. Yeah, going to opt to reset um, and go right back in. Uh, very unfortunate. Uh, this is the one of the bad things that can happen if you decide Jeez. to take this a little bit uh, uh, yeah. risky. Uh, Kid Rocker needing to head out, um, but congrats to him as well, once again. Uh, but we're going to go round two. Uh, we'll see if Zimlik decides to pull out another pocket monster from, from the box to go for the safe strats, or if he'll just uh, go right back in again. And it's Don't looking like the again. latter. We, we're running it I back. I think that death, that death cost pot one lower bracket, so... Yeah, so currently competing for lower bracket pot two. Uh, but we've seen one crit. We don't need to see any more. Pidgeot, just please go down nicely. And uh, Zimlik will set up to plus four, more likely on Pidgeot. Yeah, I don't remember the stats. I think Thunderbolt's range. Yeah, I presume that on Eevee, uh, if your special attack is very good, you can opt to plus two T-Bolt and then do the same thing as Pika. You set up one more X special on the Vileplume as it charges up Solar Beam and then sweep from there. Does that sound accurate? Yeah. So here comes the X speed, X special defense because Mega Pidgeot has a very, very large special attack stat um, compared to its non-Mega Evolved form. Uh, we see one X special attack. Go, going uh, for plus two. I don't going know for plus two range. Thunderbolt. All right. Starmie being at 37 HP is a little bit concerning. Sludge Bomb doesn't exist. It doesn't I'm exist. I'm holding my breath. We're gonna see plus. We're gonna see X spec. We're gonna see Solar Beam. That's the, that's the only thing that. And see. we're through. Just gonna hit Psychic on the Bioplume, and then switch down to Thunderbolt for the Slowbro. And Zimlik has got this think, in the bag. I don't think Zimlik can mess up because I think they'll be out of psychics. Well, they uh, have one be because he because he T bolted the the Pidgeot, he will have one extra psychic. Yeah, but, but don't. What's what's the worst that Slowbro? Can Slowbro? Can I don't think can Slowbro kill thirty seven. I'm not sure. I know it doesn't really have moves, but I don't know. We're just not going to speculate because uh, it's going to be fine. 
Well, he's just not gonna his input miss input, so it's gonna be fine. Probably not. Just like just like how uh Sludge Bomb doesn't exist, miss inputting doesn't exist. Exactly. But this should be about a 328 roundabout score. I think score. this should block pot 2 for now. Yeah. Yep. There is the Thunderbolt click. Slowbro goes down. Um, this actually could be a high 327. Um, yeah, this is very likely to be a high 327 for, for Zimlik. Congrats to him. GG's to all three of our runners. But yeah. To to summarize, Wave with the 306 uh, guarantees himself a position in upper bracket pot one. Uh, Kid Rocker with the very solid 313-18 locks himself for upper pot three. Um, and then Zimlik with a high 327 uh, looks to be around the top portion of lower pot two. Yeah. Think that locks pot two. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, this was this was a fun race. Enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. I think I'm scrolling up in chat. Um, oh, never mind. But uh, yeah, that is looking at the race time. Uh, race time puts it at a three twenty seven forty five. So. Yeah. GG's, Zimlik. We have one more race now. Yeah. We do have one more race. We'll see if uh, we'll see if Zimlik hops in Hello? for a quick interview. Oh, hey, there you are. Hey, congrats. So, congratulations Thanks. on the, the very solid time as well. Thanks. Oh, finish in race time. Finish in race time. Oh, yeah, please. Oh, how do I finish uh, in race no. time? Uh, oh, type dot done in the in the chat. Oh no no no, no. Zimlik is fine. Oh wait. Um, oh Zimlik is uh, fine. Never mind. It's it's nuclear. Um, hit A. Oh, okay. oh you gotta hit A. Oh. Oh. Oh hit A in your controller. Hit A on my controller. Oh yeah. You yeah. have to yeah, progress. 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 Oh sorry. Hit A. <laughs> oh the time. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, oh I didn't. Yeah. On the game. Yeah. Wait, are Please. we good? No, you gotta hit A on uh, your yeah. switch controller. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, I did it. Sorry, there's a lag <laughs> between when I hit it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, would... there we go. Okay, we'll we'll okay. see what we want to do with that. Um, turn <laughs> oh. the we'll figure something else out. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, just make I... sure you're aware for next round. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please do. So, sorry. I was not uh, sure where time where time ended. <laughs> I didn't know that. I was looking too much at race time to notice that your your stream was still going, but yes, you gotcha. do have to confirm to to get to uh, the okay. end slate. Gotcha. Um, but still, very solid time nonetheless. Um, Thanks. Especially because yeah. I believe you basically got into this because of was it like the announcement on GDQ? Does that sound right? Yes, that was how I got into this. Yeah, I hadn't yeah. actually played this game all the way through until I signed up for the tournament. <laughs> Yeah, yeah nice. so, so really good. Run. So I've kind of learned it since then. Yeah, so really, really good showing. Uh, do you have any like initial thoughts about how your run went? Uh, um, very solid Starmie, for sure. Yeah, I think the restart on the EV was kind of annoying, um, and then after that, I just ran into a bunch of Pokemon. It's like, do I catch it or do I not catch it? Like the Charmander, I don't know. And then I did hit another Charmander in Rock Tunnel, so that's the first time I've seen Charmanders. Oh, you in did? my runs, oh. yeah, it appeared in that first like um, the first ladder area. Okay, yeah. Oh gosh, damn, I missed, <laughs> missed that. But yeah, I, I was talking about how if he saw you, like, dang it, because it's only one level. <laughs> yeah, like, you, you're always you're gonna catch you're gonna catch level four because. Like, oh yeah, because it's available and I. Yeah, it's available. It's available and I needed fifteen. I hadn't hit fifteen yet. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, that was a good idea. Also respect the decision to keep it around just so that you can get that extra catch in, just in yeah. case. Yep. But yeah, and then that's the first time I've seen the crit on the champion, and that felt bad. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to welcome to your <laughs> let's go running initiation. You got to get crit by Lancer Champ at least once during your speedrunning career. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like an for... okay archer. 
Was oh it yeah, it was, it was it fine, Archer. It wasn't too scary. <laughs> but yeah, no, overarching it was pretty good. It was close to my PV, which also had some missteps, so... I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, for just, for just learning this game for like, what, a month or two? Two, pretty good. Yeah, two or three weeks, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very, very, very solid. So you should be proud of yourself. Thanks. Thanks. Looking forward to see your lower bracket, especially if you keep practicing, because I think you could uh, do some damage there if you keep it up, keep improving. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, I say this time and time again, but the longer the tournament goes on, like the more time people have to improve. So there are going to be, there already have been and will definitely be runners that will improve their PBs and their times even more, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how the future rounds go. Yeah, same. Um, but with yeah. this race wrapping up, uh, we have one more race uh, to go. Uh, tomorrow, uh, let me pull up the schedule unless the, the screen changes over real quick. Uh, right on cue. Uh, <laughs> oh well. Well, one more. There we go. <laughs> Changing again. There we go. Hey. Final race of round one. Yeah. Uh, happened to be racing that one to to round things out. So tomorrow, from starting at uh, four p.m. Eastern, one p.m. Pacific. Please translate that to your local time zone. Uh, we have one more race, uh, including myself, Dynam, uh, versus Chrysosaurus versus Vermilion Runs. Uh, so please be looking forward to that. Uh, be fun. Are you confident to lock up pot one? Uh, I hope so. Um, I've been doing some offline runs, and some of them have not been going all right. Some of them have not been as much, but we'll see how it goes on race day, I suppose. Uh, looking forward to seeing how Chrysosaurus and Vermilion runs fare as well. I haven't been keeping track with Vermilion all too much, but I know Crisis has been putting up some some very very solid times and is very much in contention for uh for upper bracket so looking forward to seeing how the results of that pan out um also uh maybe etiquette or somebody else can confirm this in chat possibly but uh it is possible that directly following this race tomorrow uh round two draws are likely to happen um so keep tabs on that. Uh, we'll be hearing words from the tournament organizers uh, off of whatever they decide when when the pot happen or when the draws happen for round two. So stay and tuned, if everybody. The draws happen right after the run. Maybe we get round two runs on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see how we'll see how tech decides <laughs> to handle things. Let's let's let tech have a breather um, <laughs> just for a day or so, possibly, but. I mean, they just had a breather for like three days. <laughs> True. Jordan needs his sleep. Monday to Friday. They didn't have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But we will see. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any final words, Joker, before we sign off? I'm just excited for the rest of the tournament. Oh, I was going to ask him if he had any final words, but I guess not. <laughs> All right. Well, I think... That will wrap it up for us. Uh, we'll see you here again tomorrow uh, for the final race of round one um, at, again, 4 p.m. Eastern uh, time. Please translate that to your local time zone. Uh, and then we'll see you all for that race. And then round two. Very excited for what the rest of the tournament has in store. It's going to be fun.